banana. Welcome everyone. This is Friend of Never Generation episode 82, DK64 Rando, with Kuiper and Riley running. And on commentary, we have Balam and Lara. Before we get started here, we have a few announcements on behalf of GDQ. First of all, I'm Sky Bills. It's wonderful to be here with y'all. And here we go, Frame Fatal is Gibbs and Quick's all women online speedrunning community. The upcoming event, Flame Fatal, will run from August 13th through 20th. The schedule is now out at gamesdonequick.com slash schedule. While you're checking out the schedule, feel free to submit a prize for the event using exclamation point FF in Twitch chat to submit your prizes. The last day to submit prizes is August 6th. Games Done Quick is hiring! If you have any experience in website design and development and would like to help overhaul our website or have experience in social media creation and want to help out at our live events, be sure to go to gamesdonequick.com slash jobs to apply. If you missed out on any of our past events such as SGDQ 2023 or Juneteenth, please be sure to check out the VODs on youtube.com slash gamesdonequick. And with that being said, hello everyone! How are you doing? It's so wonderful to have the DK64 Brando community here. I've heard so much about y'all. Uh, morning. 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 Hi everybody. Uh, I'm Kuiper. Uh, Riley's also here. Say hi, Riley. Yes. Uh, you be- <laughs> I really thought he was going to say big addicts, but we're just racers. We're not addicted at all. I promise. Even though this is, yeah, to- totally not addicted, <laughs> even though this is my third time doing Sky Show with the same game. Oh, right. <laughs> Riley's mu- R- Riley was muted. It was fine. I was muted. Hello. Yeah, it Hi. Was, <laughs> it was good. It was totally fine. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, we're here. Um, it's me and Riley. Uh, like I said, it's my third time here on the show, and we're doing DK64 Randomizer again, 2.0. Uh, this is the latest version of the Randomizer. It came out a number of weeks ago, and since then, there's been a whole bunch of community races and a whole bunch of fun stuff going on, and what Riley and I are here to do today is we're going to kind of show off a kind of a more competitive race setting, uh, primarily because there's going to be a Blitz tournament uh, hosted by Spike Vegeta. Maybe some of you have heard of him. Uh, Spike Vegeta is going to be hosting a Blitz-style tournament starting this coming Sunday. The qualifier race taking place at 2 p.m. Eastern. Riley, do you kind of want to like explain what the format's going to be? Yeah, sure. So let's give me one second to pull up the exact rules here. So, yeah, so the Blitz tournament-style format of this tournament, uh, which is happening this Sunday, which is the 16th of uh, July. Yes. And, yeah, so it's going to be... A, a qualifier race that it's open to everybody. I think there's going to be a, an async style for people that can't make it, and we all race, and then the top 16 gets put into a bracket, and that bracket is going to happen all throughout the one week, as this is a one-week tournament, as the blitz style implies, and it's just going to be a single in brackets that goes all the way from one Sunday to the other. Yeah, it's gonna. It's kind of a like a small little condensed version. You get all your races in very quickly. Um, and it's, it's a lot of fun. Spike's done a lot of them. They're a really, really fun format. We did one for 1.5, I believe, when it came out. We did two of them, actually. Oh, we did, yeah, we did two. Uh, I yeah. believe Riley came in second in both second of those. Second in both, and he came in, in equal tied for third in both. I think yeah. I came in third in both. <laughs> so you got yeah. the second and the third best players in the world here today. Yay! Um, <laughs> allegedly, allegedly. Allegedly. Allegedly the second and third best players. Um, but yeah, uh... Like I said, this is the fourth time, this is my third time personally, but this is the fourth time DK64 Randomizer has been featured on the the show. A lot of stuff has changed. We have two wonderful commentators that are going to guide you through that whole thing. We have Balam and LaRock, as Sky mentioned. And honestly, we could kind of just get going. Uh, Riley and I can start up and we can hand it over to those two guys to kind of guide you through what it is we're going to be doing for hopefully the next hour and 50 minutes if this seed wasn't uh, stinky. So... You know, you just never know with these seeds, but uh, hello all, I am Larock. Uh Baum and I, we are uh, devs for this randomizer, and we have put a significant amount of time in here, and we are the perfect people to walk you through a randomizer of DK64randomizer.com. 
Oh yes, yeah. We all, we all, we forgot to mention anybody uh, that isn't familiar with DK64Randomizer.com. You can go to DK64Randomizer.com. You can type in DK64Randomizer.com in your web browser, and that will take you to DK64Randomizer.com. So, yeah, I'm ready to go, Riley. If you are, yeah, I'm I'm ready to rumble whenever you are. All right, whoever is going to count us down, and we can get going. Uh, how about one of the runners count us down? That oh, way you sure. know when you're yeah. going to start. Oh, well, sure, well, sure, yeah. <laughs> All right, I will. Uh, I'll count us down. You ready? I'm ready whenever you are ready. All right, let's get it going. DK64 randomizer.com, by the way. Uh, in five, four, three, two, one. Good luck, good luck. Off they go. Good luck. So. They start with DK and Diddy. You start with two out of the five Kongs, and they're gonna probably wanna go, <laughs> they almost certainly will have to go find the other three. They're gonna need to go find the other three. They're gonna need to collect all the keys on their tracker. So they're gonna need all eight keys. They start with three. And they're gonna need enough moves, whatever it takes to beat K. Rule at the end. The phases of K. Rule, you have to fight a random, you get three random ones. Currently, they're on the classic opener of just a run around aisles, grab a couple things, and then we'll get into the lobbies and get into the meat of the seed. So Riley's doing something a little different though. Uh, there's a trick you can do where DK can beat this puzzle without a rank stand sprint if you move fast enough and Riley misses it. If you are a little faster, you can get that uh, golden banana there without having sprint, which helps out in the long run. Wow, Kuiper just pulled key two out of a dirt patch. Unbelievable. <laughs> You'll love to see that. Early keys are... <laughs> A welcome sight because every key every every key gives you access to more lobbies and more lobbies means more hints Riley going through a pile right now yeah and hints are really really helpful in DK64 randomizer we cannot understate that um, they really help you kind of efficiently plan your seed and also uh, single out areas which you need to visit and areas which you don't need to visit and there are several types of hints and there are specific amounts of each type in this uh, setting and Elrock, who is the hint god, can uh, probably go over that some more when uh, that's relevant. So one of the big reasons that, hint is, that hints are such a problem is that DK64 is a notoriously enormous game. Absolutely colossal. There are something like 500 checks, is it? There's like 500 locations yeah. something could be in? It's insane. Yeah, for season two, which is the preset that they are racing now, we have cut some checks here and there just to make things a little better on things. But I think that the amount of checks in season two is roughly around 400. So they've got to get 400 checks and single out, I think it's roughly around about 40, 50 items that they're going to need to beat the game. And the hints will tell them exactly where to look for those items. Well, not exactly, but it'll give you an idea of where they might be. One might call them hints. They'll give you a, a <laughs> nudge in the right direction. And they certainly will not solve the seed for you. They're going to have to figure things out. Some of these hints they're seeing are just talking about regions of the game. There's just stuff in a specific region of the game that they'll need to get an objective. And those paths, those path hints, will be a large part of the puzzle to pull together. And, and starting with starting with keys one and finding key two very early means they have and diving as well means they have access to four lobbies very early so they get to look at a lot of hints really quick we're gonna get a huge dump here yeah and the other thing as well is that they're going to be passing over checks which they can see what the item is without having to do anything so you saw Kuiper there he looked at a barrel it had a potion on it so he knows that the barrel he might have to do later on when he gets a few extra moves to be able to access it he's also checked some cages and seen that there's some gold bananas he doesn't have to do that unless like he needs extra gold bananas So they're getting hints on where to find Kongs, where to find keys, where to find moves that they'll need to beat the seed. All sorts of important. This is critical information. That's why the early the early start of most many of these seeds is just a rush to get as much information as you can to try and try and build your your route. So we see the tiny Sorry. Bottom castle stuff like that. Galleon tiny two door ship is on the way. The horde they're gonna need to know that you need to go there. Oh, the key two is held by a dirt patch in aisles. Every key gets a hint, and well, even though they have key two, they they get the hint. 
So Kuiper just got a hint there, which said that Trough and Scoff is on the path to key five. So Trough and Scoff holds the uh, seven bosses of the game, minus K rule. So at some point, they're going to need to do a boss, which will give them an item, which is needed to get to key eight. And so for those who are new at least, who haven't seen DK64 randomizer in a few months and might be used to 1.5, 2.0, the big change, as you can probably tell, is that all of the items in the game, minus one or two here and there, have been shuffled around. So a dirt patch, which normally would produce a rainbow coin, can produce a golden banana, can produce a key, can produce a Kong, and that's the same for pretty much every single check in the game and you've just got to find where things are. So, the levels are randomized, of course, so our level one is Castle. Normally you're going into Jungle Japes, but not today, we're going into Castle. So, Riley will traverse the castle, climb the castle, try and route his way through here, check shops, grab bananas, all important as efficiently as possible to try and just find stuff. Look at things he can look at, like look at this barrel across the gap. It was, it looked like nothing, but I couldn't quite tell. No. He's got good eyes. <laughs> and so they will want to pick up bananas, not also, not just because of that boss hint that they got, but also because uh, in the vanilla game, if you pick up 75 colored bananas, you will get a medal, which is a check. In Randomizer, we've changed this a little bit so that you can allow it to be a smaller requirement. So in this uh, setting, uh, we have it set to 40. So I'll only need 40 color bananas with a Kong in order to get a medal check. And a medal check means that they can see another item and it will be helpful for them to just get as many medal checks as they can that are hinted, essentially. So there's a lot of checks. What kind of types of checks do we have, Val? Uh, so the types of checks here, so they've got golden bananas, uh, which they're both doing. They've got the metal checks, which is for collecting 40 color bananas with a single Kong in a level. You've got dirt patches, uh, which if you shockwave on them, they'll produce an item. Uh, you've got bosses, which uh, will produce an item for defeating them. You've got crown pads, which will produce an item for completing that crown and surviving a certain amount of time. There's just an enormous amount of checks out there. The one thing as well, just to mention with bosses and keys and stuff like that, is that Key 8 will always be in Hideout Helm. So they will always need to go to Hideout Helm for the last key, which is needed to gain access to K Rule. And to beat a Hideout Helm, they'll need instruments, they'll need vines, they'll need Gorilla Gone. We'll cover these uh, more as we uh, come across them, but they need a lot of stuff. So they got to traverse a huge amount of the game to find a huge amount of stuff. Collecting bananas as they go. Uh, we got our first movement of a shop. We have Ponytail Twirl out of the castle shops. Uh, in the hint rush, we saw that castle shops were on the path to key eight. So they're going to need something in these shops. Some move in one of the three castle shops is going to be needed to get the key eight. It could be this twirl. It could be the tiny vi It could be the tiny move that we can't purchase yet. That's also in that shop. So they're gonna have to keep. They're gonna have to keep track of that and come back to that later, probably. It would be interesting if it is twirl because twirl is not really needed for too many checks. Uh, it is, however, needed for a couple of the mini games, which have also been shuffled around. So. It could be they could get any mini game that they want. They will not get a couple, which we've deemed as a little bit too difficult for season two. Uh, most infamous one is of course Beaver Bother. They cannot get that. Uh, there's a couple of us. I think they can't get Teetering Turtle Trouble. Um, but all the other mini games are in the pool, and they might have to do them in order to get something that they'll need. But again, you cannot get tortured by Beaver Bother in season two. It's very you're very fortunate in that regard. <laughs> Another shop. Well, a shop has Chunky. <laughs> there you go. So Riley here is going to be buying Chunky with Diddy. Not a sentence that I've. Oh, is he? Found is he now? Everybody. No, he, he doesn't have enough coins. <laughs> he's broke. Oh no. <laughs> Where's Diddy coins? He's got to think. He's got to think. 
There are some Diddy coins that are floating around in the sky, but those are falling on top of those is a mess. So they're gonna. Yeah. They're, he's in for an adventure. He's trying for one right now. Does he get it? Uh, I can't miss this, but he might get it. Yeah, he's got another one. The coin management is another thing which they'll have to keep an eye on. Just trying not to spend too much with, for stuff that they don't need. Uh, and this is going to come quite useful for them to kind of manage that stuff because one of the quickest things to do to get a gold banana is to purchase it. But in purchasing that gold banana, you are sacrificing some coins which you might need later to buy something which is actually really important. So it's a little bit of a balancing act on where do I spend my coins? Oh, another another Kong in a castle shop. Kuiper went to the underground, but because Chunky buys Tiny there, maybe going up the castle is better. But he also found Coconut Gun in the underground. I imagine Riley will follow shortly. But Coconut Gun is a one of the items that locks. They probably it might lock the most checks in the game. Covers all sorts of important stuff. You love to see that. You don't know if you need it yet, but you probably do. Good odds. Yeah, CG Coconut Gun. Probably one of the most important items to get in the seed. Did Riley go all the way to the top of the castle? I think he did. Uh, I don't think he did. No, maybe not. I think I, I think he stopped around about ballroom and went back. There's a there's a dirt patch all the way at the top of the castle that's just so out of the way and inconvenient to get to that a lot of people skip it. But you, know, you just never know. Is that the is that the all important item that you need? That could be a key. It could be anything. And that's the kind of fun little thing that's going to be going on in their heads is that there's going to be tons of checks in their game in this game, but they have to skip some because they deem it as not worthwhile enough. But that check might have something that they need. Uh, Kuiper having a good time climbing the castle, getting knocked off by TNT. That's <laughs> unfortunate. There are uh, a number of spooky enemies that can uh, inconvenience or climb up to the castle. I believe there's also a cop on the way up, those guys are pulled out of the stealthy Snoop minigame and given a little a little fancy behavior. If they catch you in their flashlight, they'll kick you out of the level. They'll send you back to the lobby. Yeah. So Riley is now able to get Tiny. So he has four out of his five Kongs. That's a really good start at such an early stage of this run. Very early, yes. And critically, though, he went and specifically sought out a couple patches of Chunky Coins, so he knew he even had enough. He had to go get both of those three packs of Chunky Coins in order to have enough for that Kong, so that was a, a good, good decision there. Make sure he was absolutely safe on that. But I believe because Kuiper went to the bottom, he's going to have no problem buying Chunky here. Early coin collection, all important. Got to make sure you got to you got the money to, to fund your early purchases. Uh, you could find a rainbow coin on anything. You could find a rainbow coin on a Kaspite. You could find a rainbow coin in some dirt. You could find it on a metal. You could find it on a GB. Find your early rainbow coins will get you uh, very rich very quickly, but I'd, they are not so fortunate this season. And for those who don't know what rainbow coins do in the vanilla game, if you pick up a rainbow coin, you get five coins for every Kong, even the ones you haven't unlocked yet. So rainbow coins, as Elrock suggested, very useful to get because there's a very quick method of getting coins. Kyber taking a quick moment to uh, confirm his information on his hint screen, all important. You can double check your hints at any point in the pause menu. So, as long as you've checked them already, obviously. You can't, uh, you can't see hints you haven't seen yourself yet. And as you might be able to see kind of on screen right now, you've got uh, two different costumes for Chunky. You have got Disco Chunky from the DK wrap, and then you've got regular Chunky. So this is a cosmetic setting. You can choose whatever you want uh, in terms of this, in terms of what you prefer. So Kuiper going with the Disco, Riley going with the regular. And it was a vial on the... Uh the twirl required a barrel, so perhaps this could be a very important check. If twirl was possibly what you needed out of your hint, this could be related, so you kind of have to keep this in mind. What is this going to be? Well, it's not that. It's an <laughs> ammo belt. Yeah, definitely not that. All that'll do is give you more ammo, which is convenient, but it doesn't give you any, it doesn't unlock any checks, so that's, it ain't that. We're looking elsewhere. 
Yeah, there's definitely a few useless things that you can pick up that might help you uh, in making things easier, but they will never be required. So there's ammo belts, there's the uh, instrument upgrades, they'll never be needed, so... It's a lengthy clear of, of castle. Ooh, peanuts. So peanuts also come out of the shop, and that might be more likely to be required. Yeah, uh, that... guns are all important. They can get you uh, pop balloons to get closer to banana medals. Uh, they open all sorts of gates. We'll see what comes. Until then, we are we're awaiting more info. They're sort of going to sort of uh, clear out the castle, if you will, and then move on. It's going to be an interesting decision where they go to next. And the interesting choices that they'll have to make along the way is when they get something that is worthwhile, do they go and exit the level and think that that's all they're going to get? Or do they stay in castle, maybe because there will be more in castle? There's that kind of decision making that's going on. And both of these players here are very good at their craft. They have gotten some great times in the Asyncs, which have been recently published, and they're doing really well in the races. So they know what they're doing. It is a lanky move in the Isles shop, and that move has been hinted on the path to Key 7, so there's something important in that shop, and now I think they both know it. I believe Kuiper checked it earlier, and now Riley has that info, and it's... What are you going to do? you got to go back when you get lanky, but you're not going to get lanky until you get into Gloomy Galleon, which is their fifth level, so... Lanky might be, uh... Lanky might be a ways off. Of retreading ground. One notable thing that Riley did skip is he did not check the boss door. We know bosses are on the path to key five, and he did not check it, so. I thought uh, it was key eight. It's uh, key five, I thought. Oh, okay. One of us is right. <laughs> yeah, all important to, very important to write your hints down correctly. That's another classic pitfall. One of us is right, and we'll, we'll find out. I hope it's me. I hope it's me. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I've I've definitely uh, had some problems in some seeds writing the wrong thing down. This is a, a common a common tale among DK64Randomizer.com players. Yeah. But the good thing is that if you're unsure, you can always check the poor screen as uh, El Rock hinted to you earlier. Sorry, I mean La Rock, not El Rock. <laughs> all the same, all the same. Riley doing a cheeky little twirl cut to skip a balloon balloon requirement and oh there's a vial up here. Ooh, this is a very good move. So this is out of logic, which means he's bypassing the need for barrels and balloon. Well he has balloon, but he's bypassing the need for lanky then. To get this vial up here. And an item in the caves, castle, and helm lobbies is hinted on the path to Tiny K rule. We could see something like Mini Monkey here, we could see something like Feather here. This is a this is a good check. Because he saw the contents of this barrel, he was like, ooh, I gotta come back for this. And so he got here at the earliest opportunity possible. Uh, a couple clap traps shot, a couple clap trap shots away in the darkness, and what might we have? What might we have? It'd be good if he gets Mini here, because Mini unlocks quite a lot of things in this game, especially Tiny related. Oh, oh. It, it was bait! <laughs> it was nothing! That's their second instrument upgrade, which gives them a third melon. <laughs> That is awful right there. That is that is not needed for anything. Unfortunate. Right. And Riley chooses. All right, I've seen enough. I've seen enough. He's going into level two. But Kuiper is checking the uh, boss door. Uh, so I wonder what he might unearth here. Could be nothing. It's a Could bit of a, a bit of a time sink to, to feed. Uh, the trough or scoff that eats your bananas? I assume it's scoff. Uh, I, I don't know. Trough the troughs the pig, scoffs the hippo. So it's scoff, okay. yeah. And scoff eating all your bananas up, and uh, let me see what boss this is. Oh, there's Ooh. a while here. The, one of the features of the randomizer is you can actually see what reward you're gonna get. So you can open the door, and then see what you're but gonna get, and then decide whether you want to fight the boss or not. And for a clear vial for a shared move, that's a. You're, you're, you'd be hard pressed to pass on that. There's a lot of good stuff they need, but there's a lot of bad stuff right there that it could be. <laughs> well, we've seen an ammo belt and two instrument upgrades, so I'm pretty sure this is gonna be good. Whatever it is, <laughs> I would be very surprised if this was bad. <laughs> K 
King Cutout. A boss that requires no moves and so tends to show up fairly early. Just shoot yourself out of some cannons at you. Shoot yourself out of some cannons. You get there. And for those who uh, played this game quite a lot, you might feel like this boss is a little bit faster, and that's because it is. We have uh, shortened boss fights to be roughly beatable within around about two and a half minutes. Uh, the vanilla game usually is about three and a half. So uh, for King Cutout, instead of requiring three hits to uh, remove one of his limbs, it'll only require two. There's an interesting difference of strategies here. So you've got Kaipa who's doing a boss and doing quite a bit of a time sink to do that, but it could be really worthwhile as it could be uh, the hinted thing. Um, but then you've got Riley over here. He's doing some metal checks. He's just going around fungi. He's turning it tonight. Um, both he's strategies... specifically He's specifically looking for Donkey's Metal because Donkey's Metal is hinted on the way of the horde, which basically means you need this to beat the game. Yeah, but this is a very important to find, or very important to get this medal. So, only needs 15 more. 40 CBs is the requirement. Yeah, for those who are familiar with uh, Zuda, this um, uh, way of the uh, horde is the same as way of the hero. What is it? Are really trying Shoot. to judge the contents by shooting some peanuts at the wall? Ooh, we get a quick little peek. That looked like a rainbow oh. coin to me. Yeah. Not worth the trouble, it seems. All right, and King Cutout is complete. What does Kuiper get for his troubles? Barrel throwing. A barrel throwing, which will... Well, you need barrel throwing for... What is it? Four of the seven bosses? So it it is more than likely <laughs> just sending him back to bosses again. So Yeah. But barrel throwing is definitely a good thing to have, though. Kuiper can't quite make it up the slope. He's trying to kick slide up with Tiny and is just a little bit off, but he sees that vial up there and he knows he wants it, even though he doesn't know he does not want it. <laughs> Unfortunate. Some more looks at a forest for Riley. What's he looking for? He's looking into the Thornvine Barn for more donkey bananas, and he finds Key 4. Oh, that's good. That will give him access to another lobby, and I believe... Uh, yes, yeah, so, so level 5 is going to be Galleon. So that, he may want to... He may want the hints from that lobby. He may want to know what a... How, mu how expensive Galleon is, because that'll dictate when he gets to go pick up Lanky. Ooh, Kuiper pulling out the boulder tech. Put a boulder on top of the spring pad and then backflip up into the bonus barrel. Can he make it? It's very close. I think, I think you need Chunky in order to do this. I think you need to tag to Chunky. Maybe a little repositioning to the boulder. Oh, Riley remember the bosses, so now he's checking the forest boss. Maybe this one's good, but if this one's good, you may need barrels from the castle boss. So. I think Kai's just forgetting. He, he, he's forgetting he's going to need Chunky for this. <laughs> Chunky's just a little bit bigger. Visible frustration on Kaipa here. There's some small little tech here and there. Ooh. And there's a key there. That should be key five in the forest boss. But for Tiny, do we need barrels from this boss? Ooh. No, we don't. Wow, we oh. hit the other boss that has no requirements. Puff Toss. Welcome to bonus stage. The Kuiper there. finally gets inside the barrel. He's well done. glad that it's not Big Bug Bash, a uh, minigame that has uh, plagued Kuiper once or twice before. Instead, we play a very rigged slot machine. Rigged in your favor, fortunately, so. 
the reels are always the same. So if you just memorize the reels, you just win. You just win every time. Wouldn't that be great if all slot machines worked like that? You just, you just, it just, it just works. I'd certainly like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Triangle. Ooh. Now, That's an I don't, instrument. I don't think we've gotten a uh, Harmord hand yet. We do not. That could be one of the three instruments we need, but we don't quite know yet. We'll have to. We'll have to wait and see. If only we had keys four and five that Riley has to get the hint. Riley is gonna walk out of force with all his keys. This is a. This is a pretty fast. Pretty fast all keys seed. Yeah. <laughs> All keys, four Kongs? They're gonna be flying. They might be feeling the pressure. Like, all right, things are things are showing up. Where's where's the seed gonna bite ya? What's <laughs> gonna be the what's gonna be the mystery check that you're not getting? Piper running in the forest. Uh, his advantage on barrels, I think, will be significant. Um, because he's gonna be much more comfortable checking bosses, knowing that he can do all the bosses at this point. He's got barrels. Uh, Riley kind of got away with one with the puff toss, but he walks out with key five. He's not gonna complain. That means that Riley has access to pretty much every single wrinkly hint now. So he's going to presumably go to the remaining three lobbies and just get as many hints as he can get. There are a few hint doors that are in awkward locations. There's one that you need rocket barrel for, and there's one that you need feather for, but he's going to have the vast majority of his information and he'll be able to, to uh, make his next move uh, with good information. All important. Aztec 7. Ooh, Ooh and now Riley. Lanky. So that is that that is that another? Is that the barrel throwing hint or is that That a... is that is for barrels. Oh yeah, because of course he'll need that. So that's telling him that not only is he gonna need barrels, obviously, but also Lanky phase is one of the three K rule phases that he's going to need to do at the end of this seed. Which means he'll need to find trombone. We well, found trombone. Where did he find trombone? I must have missed it. I did and not catch he that. found. And he found. Uh, and he'll need barrels as well, because you have to pick up the barrels in the the lanky phase to throw them. So barrel throwing is the all-encompassing to pick up stuff item. So. And the good thing is that he knows pretty much what he's looking for, because he does have that trombone. So he's going to be doing bosses until he sees. Uh, a clear vial, basically. A lot to unpack from these hints. So that spring barrel that got triangle, that is now known to be way of the horde. So we may need, so we will need that, but we don't know what we need it for. It could be for, uh, it could be for helm. Uh, it could be for something else. We'll see. We got a color bananas is foolish for crystal caves. Um, so what that means is that he does not have to collect color bananas at all in crystal caves in order to beat the seed, uh, which means no more no medals checks will be required, and also the boss won't be. So that's one less boss that he has to check. It's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see when he comes back for that castle boss. I don't know if he's gonna think about that, but he knows he's looking for barrels, and so he's he's got a he's got a strong lead on where barrels might be. Uh, one of the key, the critical points of item placement is that your three critical training moves, which is diving, vines, and barrels, are always in levels one through three. Or, yeah, levels one through three. Before yeah, level four, essentially. And they started with diving, so there's one. Barrels was in the first level's boss, so there's two. Ooh, helm hint. Diddy Chunky Donkey. They're going to need that triangle to beat the the uh, the Chunky Room in Hideout Helm. So that's going to be required. Ooh, is the thorn vine cas the the casplat behind the thorn vine? I yeah, did be... did Riley I... get that? I don't think yes, I saw. I believe that was trombone then. Oh, okay. And castle cranky diddy is also on the way of the horde. That was chunky, I believe. So bit of a useless yeah. hint. <laughs> yep. Sometimes the sometimes the the hints are uh, they can help you, but sometimes they uh, they give you stuff you already know. The way she goes. Ooh, oh, another green vial. Pineapple. 
pretty Pineapple decent. Launcher. That is uh, quite a good pickup, and it's locked behind uh, a fair few things. That is a little bit out of logic, but not too far. And the Aztec Roof Dirt. Just a GB. So Kuiper is now going to come up on his key four, and he's going to be uh, quite pleased to see that. He's uh, re retreading Riley's steps. Plus one barrel throwing. How is that? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, now, now's a big question. Did you just go on to level three then. You got a, you got your aisles cleared. You got your levels one through two you're pretty happy with. What does Jace got for you? It was a 12 B locker and Riley walks in with 12. Calculated move. And if you're watching all of this and you're thinking, this is this looks like a really fun experience. Well, if you go to dk64randomizer.com you can find how to play this uh, randomizer, and you're going to get all set up, and it's going to be a whole lot of fun. It was indeed trombone on the, uh, the supply behind the mills, so happy to see that. They'll need that. And Kuiper will be uh, perhaps less pleased to see a boss here. <laughs> To see what to see the key five is behind this boss. <laughs> so Riley just got a blueprint there, and so towards the end of the run, uh, both runners are going to go for a big old dump of their blueprints, and they're going to turn them into gold bananas, and that's going to help them enter Hideout Helm. So okay. get ready for some big dumps. I want to know a little bit more about the history of why y'all call them dumps. Also, Kuiper's reactions here are quite funny. He was <laughs> not pleased to see bosses. He is a known boss hater, and the uh, the two hints that told him he needs to be bosses are... <laughs> he, he's not going to be happy about that one. As far as uh, uh, blueprint dumps go, it's, it's, just, it's just a simple... It, it's what it says on the tin. You take your blueprints, you head on down to Snides, you dump them off, he hands you a, a dump of GBs, it's a fair exchange, a great trade agreement. And so large dumps, large and frequent dumps are a, a, a common trade and practice of DK64randomizer.com. All important. Yeah, remember your frequent dumps, chap. It's very healthy. Riley giving us our first look at a battle crown. You get to see the, the GB that you're uh, going to be rewarded with at the end. And he's decided, you know what? This is a short crown. I'll, I'll do it. The enemies are random. The, the length of the crown is random. So he just decided this one is good enough for me. Usually uh, it's mostly the length of the crown which will determine whether you do it or not. If it is a gold banana, um, most people would probably pass on a 50 second uh, gold banana crown. Whereas 30 seconds or less, you take it. Primate Punch coming out of the Jape Shop. That's a pretty nice move to have. That's another important one that tends to lock a, a fair chunk of the game. It could possibly be used for K. Rule. Yes, because uh, Primate Punch is required to beat Chunky Phase. Uh, in fact, pretty much all of the Chunky moves are required to be Chunky Phase. So that's uh, Gorilla Gone, uh, the uh, Super Slam. You've also got... Uh, Primate Punch and you've got Hunky Chunky. All of those will be required to be Chunky Phase if they have Chunky Phase in the uh, three required phases for K Rule. We only know of one phase, just Lanky's phase right now. The, uh, the hints were not terribly helpful, unfortunately, telling us that. Or, or no, we know Tiny's phase as well. Okay, we actually have a lot of hints for Tiny's phase. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, it seems Minnie and Feather are uh, not likely to be easily found. Good thorough coverage of Japes. You love to see Japes early. Japes has got a bunch of stuff that's very light requirements, especially with Coconut Gun, you can get a huge amount of checks. Yeah. A lot of GBs, it's just gonna accelerate their seed even faster. The bean! Oh my goodness, we it's found the bean! The bean! <laughs> the, bean. The, bean. <laughs> the bean was locked in Diddy's cage in Japes. You what love was to he see doing with it? <laughs> so the oh. bean, uh, is a random item that for some reason they decided to add, uh, which is locked in Fungi Forest in an anthill. 
and it is used for one check in the game, which is to uh, grow a beanstalk. And in Randomizer, that's randomly placed as well. So hopefully not this seed, but maybe the seed. Uh, that bean might be required to beat the seed. Sometimes, and there's only one bean in the game. If you need the bean, there's the bean. Who knows where it is? It could be anywhere. Become quite a uh, <laughs> quite a meme in the uh, DK64 randomizer community to uh, find a bean and stuff like that. We got many uh, bean emotes that have popped up from uh, randomizer runners. We have been blessed. Speaking of the community, <laughs> I want to shout out all of the music super geniuses that have come up with the immense amount of tracks that you've heard so far. There are tons and there are dozens of there are too many people to name who are contributing to the music of this game and they're just incredible they've come up with it's what makes this so much fun with this randomizer is the sound font is so flexible that uh, brilliant creative minds have come up with uh, adaptations of so many great classic video game soundtracks that you're hearing <laughs> they're just so good i love it every time i hear some of these songs they're just amazing yeah <laughs> oh and uh, the <laughs> Cranky's selling pearls, apparently. That's one of the one of the five pearls out of the, the galleon treasure chest that you gotta turn to the, turn into the mermaid to get her reward. You only need one in the randomizer, but they're not in the treasure chest, so you, who knows where they are. And that makes the treasure chest quite the uh, valuable place to go, because there's five checks in there, and they could be anything from completely useless to required to beat the seed. No, I'm not. I, I hate to say it, but I'm not sure we're going to see it, though, because Mini Monkey might be one of the last things they find, and uh, you need Mini Monkey to get in the treasure chest, so... Yeah. Come on, Kuiper finding Pineapple Launcher just now. And Riley's still going through bosses. So right about now, the, the main difference between these two is that Kuiper, with his with his barrel throwing, managed to work his way into the triangle, the required triangle, back in Snide's room in Isles. And he also did the castle boss for barrels, which is where he got barrels. Riley needs to go back to castle to pick up barrels, and then well, he'll eventually find his way to triangle. He might find spring and not need to use the boulder tech. Um, and Kuiper needs to go into Japes, or Kuiper needs to finish his hint collecting and then run into Japes to just catch up on GBs and just general stuff to to be uh, even with Riley. I didn't see the Galleon B locker requirement when we first came in here, but Kuiper's going to get a look at it in a second and we'll know how many GBs Lanky is locked behind. Well, there's the uh, Blaster Matic hint for Kuiper. Oh, we Where got Gorilla that? gone. We got Gorilla gone in the Japes hillside. That oh, that's Tiny's good. Tiny's cage. You need that for sure. That is uh, used to enter Helm. And given that we haven't seen any of the phase hints for K. Rule, I would assume that the other phase for K. Rule is going to be DK phase. There's Vine swinging. That's a good find. That's another thing that uh, you'll need to enter Helm is vine swinging because there are a series of vines that uh, take you over from one side of the lava to the other. And if you don't have vine swing, then the vines won't be there. So you need those vines. I missed, I missed the Galleon Organ. Oh well. <laughs> Dang it. Additionally, vine swinging is used for quite a lot of checks, including this one, because there is a dirt patch once Riley figures out how to use vines. Uh, <laughs> there's a dirt patch uh, behind this waterfall that might have something useful, might not. It's a little bit out of the way. I always hate going to this guy. It's just got had nothing here and it's just it just feels like it's so far out of the way, but those aisles checks. Having finding stuff in aisles is, is pretty nice. <laughs> it beats having to dive into a level for it. Okay, I caught a replay on the Galleon. It looks like it's 30-something. So, so it's, 
going to be quite a... Oh, there we go. Gazump. So I think that might be that uh, Cave Shoe Helm Lobby check, which is uh, required. Well, that was, it was required for Tiny K Rule. So they're probably going to need to use that guitar somewhere to unlock Feather or Mini Monkey. Um, let's see if we can puzzle some stuff out. So things that we know we might need. We're going to need something out of Crystal Cave's main. So something in this main area of Crystal Cave's will be needed. So let's see. Punch and Gorilla Gone is a check here. This could be it. Uh, could be a number of the Kasplats here. It's not could a crown. Even, <laughs> could be even the Beetle Race. <laughs> could be the Beetle Race. <laughs> They're short of lanky for that, though, and if uh, you need 30-something GBs to get in a galleon, uh, team, team, we are not close to that. That is a pretty, <laughs> that is a pretty hefty level 5. Yeah. So they're going to need uh, 60 gold Madonna to enter Helm. So that's the total that they're going to be aiming for. But obviously they have to get a certain amount of gold Madonna to enter certain levels, so... Riley, you know? is, Riley is preparing his dumps. He's building up blueprints. <laughs> Got that dump charging up. Kuiper, with his barrels ability, managed to get into the Japes underground and found oranges out of it. One of the cheeky things you can do with oranges, you can you you can bypass the need for feather bow for tiny phase. So he uh he may have an advantage there. He may just not look for a feather at all in the end if it doesn't turn up. Yeah, that's that's quite the advantage there, cause. With quite a lot of hints for Tiny Phase, it could be pretty buried. It's an advantage, but there's a lot of seed to go. Now, uh, incredible ponytail twirl, ponytail twirl movement out of Riley there to get on top of this blueprint pillar to to check that uh, Kasplat without Rocket Barrel. Jumping from, uh, doing an extended kick slide from the top of Funky's shop up to the pillar. That's very impressive tech. That is, that is tighter than it looks. And, and yes. on top of that, you're fighting the camera the whole time. Uh, anyone who's played this game and knows that uh, the camera is uh, sometimes adversarial, to uh, put it lightly. And these guys are also playing on uh, Project 64, which is an emulator which doesn't have a lot of lag to it. So that means that uh, for those who know a little bit about this game and uh, have heard the infamous uh, story of how uh, the more it lags, the faster the con goes, it means that those kinds of gaps are harder to traverse when there's less lag. So definitely quite a hard trick to do. This is a great question, Chet. Why do they call it ponytail twirl if Tiny has pigtails? You know, the world may never know. <laughs> Monkey science can only answer so many questions. Unfortunately, that is not one of them. I regret to inform you. Look, I can tell you why DK moon kicks. I can't tell you that. Another pearl there. Probably not going to get that one if uh, Mermaid is required. They're probably going to go for the Jake Shop one. Well, Riley right, didn't grab the pearl either. I mean, with five pearls in the game, you're bound to just stumble into one accidentally all the time. So it's not usually yeah. a high priority to go pick it up. Riley with the knowledge that <laughs> Kuiper <is> celebrating <laughs> the bean. <laughs> we all celebrate the bean here. You love beans, you love DK64Randomizer.com. I believe Riley may have puzzled it out. He knows that because Troffenskopf is on the path to Lanky's K roll phase, and he knows he needs specifically barrels, he knows he's looking in the first three levels for it, so he, he's looking for the first three bosses specifically. He's checked yeah. the force boss and the Jake's boss, and so he's, I think he realizes I need to check the castle boss, like, immediately. This is going to have something yeah. very important. It's either yeah. barrels or something that will unlock barrels. So he's, he's going straight there, I think. Of course, we know it's barrels, but he doesn't. And I think it's fair to say that uh, between the two of these, Riley is probably the one who knows the hint system the best. So in terms of puzzling out hints, it's more likely that Riley's going to be able to solve something than Kuiper. But I'd say that in terms of gameplay skill, that's where Kuiper has Riley beat. So it's got quite an interesting balance of where each runner has their pros and cons, you know. 
the strengths and weaknesses. I would not call them bad at either of them because they would uh they would bully me to the ends of the earth. They will point <laughs> they will point to the leaderboard and laugh at my times. So I will refrain Look. from commenting. Look, they both went for that uh, hunky chunky barrel in the launch race. <laughs> Ooh. I can call them bad. <laughs> Ooh, that was a good race. That was. <laughs> So as we reach right over some things, let's consider what we might still need. So we know of, so for K rule, or no, for, for Helm, we know Diddy, Chunky, Donkey. So we need Bongos still, and we need Rocket Barrel. Those are the two things that neither runner has that we uh, do not, that we do not know where they are. They could be anywhere. Um, part of the key eight hints, we have Caves Shops twice, actually. So we know we need Twirl and peanut for something. I don't think we've pieced out what we needed either of those four. Have we? No. I don't think we've seen something good from either. Unless, oh, it could, peanut could be pineapple launcher. Oh, that could be it. That was in uh, the upper aisles. Although... Hmm. An item in the main aisles on the path to key seven. That could be a pineapple launcher, as well as whatever's in the shop, which was a lanky move. So that remains to be seen. But pineapple is a a contender for something very important. Yeah. Uh, further following key eight, we have a diving hint. So they need diving for some reason. Don't know why. Um. Uh, the a forest mills hint for key eight. The kasplat behind the thornvine barn counts there, so that's the trombone. Possibly. Again, we haven't found anything. So they know the stuff they have is very likely used somehow. But they haven't quite found the end game. They haven't found the, the, the final pieces of the puzzle to resolve that. So they're probably prioritizing in their heads. They're prioritizing something like peanut checks, uh, trombone checks, twirl checks. I wouldn't be surprised if they're trying to prioritize as well, just getting uh, as many GBs as they can to get into Galleon. Right, because they know that that move in the aisle shop is necessary, so... And they also know... Yeah, they also know they've got to get Lanky, and that Lanky essentially locks 20% of the game. If they don't have Lanky, then, you know, there's a lot of checks that they can't do. Riley's going to grab his barrels here, and uh, let's see what he makes of it. Some nods. Love to see that. Love to see that. He knows he needs it. And now he's got to consider his options. He can almost get into Galleon. I think it's like 30-something. I didn't quite see the full number, but... Return up should, uh... Return up shortly. Oh, is he going to dump? Taking a quick little... A small little dump. A humble dump. Oh, oh is he... He's gonna also, get... He's, he's gonna do the trick. <laughs> also pulling out the boulder tech. I, uh... There's a little bit of fluctuation to the, uh... The bonus barrel as well, so there you go, he gets it. So there you, you kind of have to like backflip up when the, the barrel is lower to the ground. It's a little tricky. Yeah. But you got it. Very nice. The sinusoidal, yeah, sinusoidal oscillation kind of thing. Oh, fancy words. Love that. <laughs> I don't believe Riley found anything out of caves, did he? So. I don't think cave, so either. Cave dive was not. Cave dive was uh didn't turn up too much, but we know we need something here. We don't know what. We don't know where. But if it didn't turn up immediately, then signs are pointing to being lanky locked at least. In addition, they also know that they are well out of logic in a number of ways. Specifically, that spring requirement that they're bypassing. That spring could be one of their way of the ordinance, and they just they don't need it. They don't yeah. actually need spring, but but uh, their hints could tell them that they do. <laughs> a bit of a bit of a trap there, so they could be hunting down. Kuiper having difficulty punching walls. He finds his way in. <laughs> third time's the charm. Yeah, it's one of the difficulties. Like, there's it's pretty easy to go out of logic with uh, DK64 randomizer, just because mostly because of tag anywhere. Um, it's quite a powerful thing to have, and certain Kongs can cross gaps that others can't. So. Um, there's that, so it's pretty easy to go out of logic, but there's also a risk to going out of logic that you have to remember that whatever you get out of logic, 
you might not need something which is that is required. Oh my! Oh no! Riley is breaking out the forbidden tech. Oh, the, no, forbi- the forbidden <laughs> boulder tech. He's is- walking a boulder all the way up this <laughs> ramp. He's gonna put it down, and then he's gonna twirl with Tiny off of this boulder to reach the upper platform. He's got guitars, so he gets a GB check here, and he also gets a hint door. Yeah. So if <laughs> oh. <laughs> we're talking out of logic here, that's that's kind of the stuff that you can do. Is that this requires Rocket Barrel to get, but if you have Chunky, Barrel Throwing, Tiny, and Twirl, you can get this without Rocket Barrel. And a lot of creativity. Ooh, Ooh Chunky gets, phase. That's a big hint. That tells him that Chunky is required for K Rule. He already has the move. He already has Gorilla Gone, which is the move that's in the hillside there. But we now know our K Rule order. We now know it is Tiny, Lanky, Chunky in some order. So, what do we need? We need, we need to find Hunky Chunky, is the big one. And then we need to find Feather and Mini Monkey, or substitute for oranges. Yeah. Feather or oranges, I suppose. But it, the hints will point you towards Feather. Oranges are a uh, an alternative way of doing it. And they still need to find Monkey Port, but there are a few things uh, in DK64 Randomizer that we've added. So if you stand on the Monkey Port pad that would lead to Helm, and you don't have Monkey Port, but you have enough gold bananas to enter all of the first seven levels. It will tell you the Kong and the level where Monkey Port is. So they might be playing for that, I would guess. I feel like that's kind of the thing you just like run into. Kuiper is doing a way of the horde check right now. This is important, whatever it is. Did Riley do this? I guess not. He doesn't have this move. Or he doesn't have Mark. I don't believe he did this. What is this? Uh oh. <laughs> Uh oh, Gorilla Grab. There are not a lot of checks in the game that require Gorilla Grab. What could that be for? Hmm. Hmm. Donkey minecart, perhaps. Perhaps a little minecart action. It will <laughs> not be. Unfortunately, I must. I must break the news. It will not be for the DK Arcade machine. That is not a. Uh, that is not a shuffled location in these settings. So, unfortunately, we will not be seeing DK Arcade today. That is a. A little bit too problematic to 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 make people suffer through. Yeah. But we could see a castle minecart. We could love we love to see castle minecarts. They got everything. They got coconut. They got grab. Come on down. <laughs> I kind of hope that it is donkey minecart because that will also be a good show of something else that we've done uh, to help improve games repa- playability, you know? There's definitely uh, several ways that uh, we've made changes to this game to make it a bit more replayable time after time. Right. If you've done the Donkey Minecart once, you know, oh god, it's long. It's so long. <laughs> you got a long ways to go to hike there. You got a long ways to go to just go back, go all the way down the track, and then go all the way back. The rando just shortens it, so you only have to go one way. You don't have to come all the way back. Just one of those quality of life things. A couple, uh, a couple of checks like that are shortened just to make sure that you know the, the seed doesn't drag on, or there aren't checks that are absolutely horrendous. Kuiper decides he does not want to spend all his money on Candy's golden banana. That uh, is a uh, penny pinching, but his choice to make, I suppose. Riley having some trouble finding numbers here. This is harder than it looks, I swear. You get, like, three pixels to, like, judge what a number is. Okay, it's not actually three pixels, but it feels like three pixels, right? <laughs> you get, like, a fraction of a number to try and, like, is this the one? Is this the is this the one or the four? Is this the two or the three? <laughs> it's ridiculous. So, righty... Coming close to whatever that galleon requirement will be. Am I, am I a liar? Why is Kuiper coming in here? Is he, does he think he has it, enough? 32. He did not get a good enough look at it. Uh, to be fair, I had to take a clip of his stream and pause it and very slowly, meticulously decipher that number. So I don't think he got a good look at it in the first place. No. <laughs> Uh, Riley does have enough if he wants to do a, a little dump, but I think he's choosing to check other stuff instead, and he will be rewarded with oranges here. Uh, 
Oh, Kuiper's going for this check over here. We know that this is uh, an instrument upgrade, but Kuiper doesn't. The call of the vial is strong. You see a vial, it's just too good to pass up. It's a hinted region. How do you pass this up? You can't. You see this. It's always in the back of your mind. You're like, it just might be here. It just might be here. Maybe it just won't turn up. Maybe it just won't be needed. But, but what if it going, is? He's going into castle, though. So maybe he's thinking maybe it's not worth it. But uh, he, he's got to know in his mind that it could be that. Riley is the first to dump. He's dumping to get in the galleon. Yep. Big old he's dump alert right here. Clearing his inventory out with a dump. And he'll get up to 32 nice and quick. And he'll go off to try and find a lanky. We don't know where, but we do know Donkey frees Lanky somewhere in Galleon. That could be Donkey's Metal. It could be a number of ships. It could be the Lighthouse. Um, we'll see. It could be the Seal Race, but we don't have Baboon Blast, so we hope it's not that. So Riley is going to go straight for Galleon. So he's going to be the first one most likely to get the family. Oh, or he's making a liar of us and going in a forest for some reason. Why is he going to the forest? Hmm. What has he got left to do in the forest? Unless he's... Mm. Is, is he thinking maybe it's the mill check? But surely he would have seen that. Did we get a view oh. of what was inside the cage? Kuiper got grabbed, and he ran straight back to the castle minecart. I don't think I... I didn't get a good look at it. Did he see what it was? He might have seen what it was. Oh, he might be just doing both right now. Doing the... Uh, or, yeah, he might be doing the the chunky yeah. keg crushing as well as the the conveyor belt check. So Kuiper here, a um, small change that we've made from the vanilla game is that on the uh, signs on the left and the right of the door, in the vanilla game, they just show circles and don't have any indication of the order. But we've uh, changed that with numbers. Oh, it's a junk item. He's not oh. going to need it for that. Oh, that hurts. That is a long way to go here. You also know you're going to have to come back to this crypt later because the Diddy location is hinted way of the horde, but we don't have charge. So we shall make another. We shall see castle again, but not for the minecart. So what was on the conveyor belt here? Did we see? He's not going to tell us, is he? It's a blueprint. OK, but instead yeah. he's crushing the kegs. Logically, you need grab to turn on this conveyor belt, but if you just place the barrels down a little in very careful positioning, they just blow up on their own. It's amazing. If it is this, that's quite the good read from Riley. That is exceptional. Uh, there's not too many grab checks in the game. This is one of a few. And oh, and he is rewarded oh, with a vial that takes too long to become unintangible with bongos. We need that. That is a great read from Riley right there. Yeah, that's great. Like, uh, your forced mills to key eight are hinted. Where you take grab? Let's take it to a grab check in mills. <laughs> Let's go straight there. And boom, he's got to move. He needs to beat the game. And that solves a hint. And now he goes into galleon. All right, so... He, I think he just wanted to one-up us. He was like, I'm reading these hints so beautifully right now. Hold on. <laughs> I'm going to go get exactly what I need, and then we're going to go into Galleon. He is yeah. in absolute control. Riley just gigabraining this entire seed. Right here, he's going to do a little bit of a tech here. If you uh, wait for the uh, water height to get a uh, certain level, you can just grab onto this ledge with Chunky. And now he gets to do the cannon game. Gets to do the cannon game. I would I would say subjected to the cannon game. <laughs> <laughs> That's not that bad. <laughs> oh boy, I have some bad memories. <laughs> so the runners are going to be ready to take a break soon. We do like to do a wellness break about an hour in or so. Sounds good. I mean, they're in a good spot. Kuiper's even in the middle of a dump. Perfect oh. timing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 
at one in chat if you love a good GB dump. I'm sure he'll love being interrupted while dumping. <laughs> <laughs> I sure don't. The best. Oh yeah, I'm still here. Just this commentary is absolutely amazing. And I would love to thank both my commentators for being here. Also as the runner, so be sure to give everyone a follow. Please and thank you. You are too kind, too kind. I'm uh, thrilled to be here. Yeah, same. <laughs> This is it's uh, good. it's been a, it's been a long road to DK sixty four randomizer dot com, and it uh, it all comes together for events like this to make it to make it so yeah. special. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so it is about that time. Hopefully, we can communicate to the runners. And again, nobody spoil. Oh, my lips are sealed. Sealed. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't realize we were on a break. <laughs> All right. Oh, hi. Yeah, sorry. morning. Sorry. Hello, oh. hello, hello. Uh, are you paused already, Riley? Okay. Let me let me stop what I'm doing and. Okay, I'm paused. So. I'm so listen, you're, you're ahead, listen, you're ahead anyway. Trust me. I promise you. I promise you you're ahead. All right. Anyway. We can't say in either direction. Who knows? Woo. <laughs> oh, sorry. All right. That is awesome. I've made sure to let people know where to follow you after we get back from our wellness yes. break. Please let folks know where to find you and what you've been working on before we resume, especially from the rudders, right? Because we don't get to hear from you all as much. But before we take our wellness break, I have a few announcements on behalf of Games Done Quick. Please remember that your subs, Prime Gaming subs, gift subs, and bits cheered on the GDQ Twitch channel help support Games Done Quick hotfics. Please consider subscribing if you enjoy the daily speedrunning content. Also, if you're watching on YouTube, hello, wonderful to see y'all. Be sure to press the like button on this video and subscribe to the channel. Also, go to twitch.tv slash gamesdonequick if you're interested in looking at our live content starting weeknights at 7 p.m. Eastern and weekends at 1 p.m. Eastern. And with that being said, everyone, be sure to stay hydrated. Stretch with me right back with Random Number Generation. Welcome back to Random Number Generation. This is episode 82, DK64 Rando with Kuiper and Riley. And we have some fantastic commentators here. Balam and Lara, how are y'all doing? It has been wonderful to see this seed so far. And I want to hear overall general feelings about the seed without giving away, just feelings, adjectives. Why don't y'all take uh, it away? I have feelings. Um, <laughs> surely I haven't reacted to anything at all. No, 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 me neither. Uh, not, not at that all. That has happened. Um, everything's just been totally normal. And I'm not going to have a conversation with the person who gened this seed after it's over. <laughs> totally not going to have a conversation with them. No, I'm joking. No, it's been, it's honestly yeah. been like really fun. And, uh, you know, having, um, having everything that has been put into this randomizer really get showcased. At least I'm, I'm trying to do my best to show off a lot of the really cool stuff that has yeah. been found. I'm and a lot of the, yeah, a lot of the cool like tricks and things like that. I've been trying to show off a couple of those. I know Riley's probably doing the same. Yeah, I've been uh, doing a lot of quirky things and a lot of fun things that uh, the the uh, this rando can do. So, yeah, and it's been it's been great. It's been a lot of fun. I'm excited to get back into it and see which one of us is victorious. Yeah, we'll see soon. As well, I did I did reset my game to fix my audio. Yes. Uh, my audio was distorted and bugged, so it should all be fine now. Um, so hopefully that's uh, <laughs> yeah that doesn't break again. But you know this game is uh, sometimes very special and it does whatever it wants. It that is, is a, a gentle <laughs> way to put it. <laughs> it is I'm nice certified it, cave yeah. game. <laughs> uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's, as one would put it, you know. As as someone would put it, I'm sure there's no emotes currently being used involving some sort of cave, but. You know, it is, never. it is, it never, it is what it is. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm ready to get back into this. Y'all ready to go? I'm ready to go. Yeah. Yes. All right. On your count. And again, folks, the, uh, the runners will not be able to hear or see anything because this is a race and we don't want to give away spoilers. It's a randomized desire. So take yes. it away. Good luck. Have fun runners. 
I'll count us down again. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. And they're off. And they're gone. They can no longer hear us. Where we last left off, uh, Kuiper was uh, going back through Castle. I think he's collecting a couple stray GBs. Yeah. I think that's what he's trying to do. I think he's trying to pad his GB count here. This is come, this is off of him checking the uh, DK minecart. Meanwhile, Riley is working his way through Galleon. He's on a quest to find Lanky Kong. You won't and find it here because we know Donkey frees Lanky in here. So we're looking at Donkey checks specifically. But while you're here, take a little trip through uh, the sick bay. Go pick up a pick up a blueprint or two. Maybe he's preparing a second dump, even. Yeah. Good check for Donkey. Well, there's a couple of good checks right here for DK, but I think it might be the lighthouse, if I was to guess. The Lanky. This is a given good guess. That, and even even if you don't even if it isn't the lighthouse, there's so many banana there's so many donkey bananas in here that it's just you have to come in here. Because yeah. the lanky could be on the metal as well. He could be on 40 four colored bananas. There's even a dirt patch in the back. There's the, the lighthouse is incredible value. That is, yeah. has absolutely no reference to any other game. This is a uh, uh, any yeah. any resemblance to anything you may have seen in any other uh, yeah. N64 game with 64 in the title is purely a coincidence. So right here, Riley's going to do a uh, trick called Cannonless, where he's just going to run into a wall and uh, grab a start. Wait, sorry, that's the wrong game. Oh. Oh. I mean, hey, that might work in this game, too. Oh, there he is. There's a boy. Lanky Kong hanging out at the top of the lighthouse. Womp's Fortress delivers. Uh, the lighthouse delivers again. Ah, uh, He's struggling to get a uh, shockwave right here. Really unfortunate because there is a claptrap right there just uh, hounding him right there. He, he's got oranges, and oranges are one of the, the few ways to kill this guy. And uh, wow, that claptrap is. Nice. I mean, it's tiny. And oh. you don't even die to shockwaves, too. Oh, and we off the backboard! The orange <laughs> technology. Unbelievable. Kuiper choosing to clear out the Galleon Caverns instead. He's going to check a shop and then get this guy up here for nothing. Lovely. So we have Vin Diesel with one of our runners. We, uh... Vin Diesel percent, because it's all about family. Just gotta wait for, uh... Kuiper to get Vin Diesel, and then we'll be, uh... All good. They're very close to each other. Very, very close CB counts. Uh, major differences between them are... Oh, gosh, is it really nothing? Uh, no, it's, uh... Really just bongos, I'd say, because bongos is required. Oh. And I don't think... There are only so many grab checks in the game. I think I think it's a matter of time before Kuiper pieces together. I gotta go back yeah. to the forest. I think that I think he'll I think he'll piece that one together, especially because it's it's two checks, right? It's one on the conveyor and then one from the keg crushing. I don't know if he went yeah. in the conveyor. I don't know if he went in the crush room. I the first don't, time. I don't think he did. But of I'd... the grab checks, it's one here, one in factory lobby, which uh well. That one also needs bongos, so it won't be he won't be checking that one. And then one inside factory at the top of R and D. Those are the three grab checks that I can think of. So it's really a matter of time before he goes back to forest. This isn't it's not as so bad to, to isolate that one. So this is again anyone's game still. Anyone could find the right move in the right spot and be off to the races. And Kuiper decides to beeline towards a way of the horde check in the in the uh, tiny Tudor ship. Here's a vial. What's it gonna be? This could be... Well, it's a map made small. This could be anything. We don't have any hints towards Galleon besides this spot being required. So who knows? Um... Mm. Oh, it could be like could be quite a number of things, really. Uh, I, I, I suppose it's going to be either mini, feather, or monkey paw. It's got to be a tiny move, right? I mean, those are the, the majority of what we need that's left. Um, this but, is uh, di there's diving for key eight, so I'm thinking this is going to be a key eight something. 
this would this would this would complete the diving to key eight path. So I'm thinking either monkey port. Yeah, monkey port. Probably monkey port is my best guess, or rocket barrel. Yeah, it can't be feather because there's some zingers in here, and since this is a tiny barrel, it logically expects you to have feather in order to beat this game. So it's not it's not going to be feather. He's got oranges too, but he can also shockwave them just as well. Shockwave is one of the uh, starting moves, so you don't have to worry about orphaning dirt patches. <laughs> That's cool, boy. The first rounds of this randomizer were spicy. Yeah. But we're about to find out. The race is complete. He has mauled the mad maze. And he merges with Monkey Port. Monkey Port. That's we're a good so, time. We are so smart. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll say this, it is a lot easier to parse these hints when you're sitting comfy on your couch at home and you get to watch somebody else struggling and sweating, <laughs> racing their way through the maze. They have to worry about beating the maze. We get to spend all that time staring at all of my notes and being like, oh yes, yeah, so I think it might be. Well, if we combine this hint combined with all of the other hints that we don't have, I, indubitably, it must, it must simply be monkey pot. Are you trying to imitate me there with the British accent? <laughs> Not every British person is you, Balm, all right? It could be any British person. <laughs> <laughs> I guess there's 70 million of us, yeah. <laughs> are you suggesting that I shouldn't imply that British people are cultured like that? Like, I, I mean... Uh, I mean, we are a bit cultured you take, like take that. Take the compliment, right? Take the compliment. Yeah, all right, all right, all right, there you go. <laughs> Uh, is Riley? I believe Riley's now in the same bonus barrel. I can't imagine any other reason why he would do this bonus barrel because it is one of the longest bonus barrels in the entire game. Yeah, he's in the same bonus barrel. Yeah, that is uh, that is a big one. He's going to get monkey port here, so they're going to be pretty uh, level on that. Kuiper gets a pearl, so that's always good if he needs to do the uh, mermaid check. Unlikely, but he might need to love junk items on melons or junk items on metal rewards that's just the best yeah so Elro, where would you think in your ever big brain of knowing all these hints where would you think mini monkey might be because i think that's the main move outside of bongos for kaipa i think that's the main move that they're missing what where might it be in your opinion Hmm. I... Have we seen... Oh no. Things are aligning in oh, such no. a way that it is possible... No, maybe not. Hmm. It's never I'm a good thinking... time when... It's never a good so, time so when you say, oh no. <laughs> the one thing I'm, I'm seeing is that Slam is on the path to Tiny's K. Rule phase. So we need Slam for Mini or, or or Feather. And we just got Monkey Port that needed a Slam because of progressive switch strength. Galleon being level 5 means it has blue strength switches. And blue is, you know, the, the first Slam upgrade. So you need one Slam upgrade, which means that you're training in progressive Slam, which is to say being able to Slam blue switches is on the path to Tiny K Rule. And we just pulled Monkey Port out of there, so something, possibly Monkey Port, locks it. Um, and my first thought was Caves, but the Caves one, there's a Caves main Tiny K Rule, and we have not pulled anything out of main Caves, but I don't believe the Monkey Port check there is in main Caves. No, that's Igloo area, isn't it? Yeah. So this is, uh, we got a bit of a mystery here. It can't be the monkey, well, it could be the monkey ch uh, port check in Isles, but that wouldn't solve the Isles main one either. Cause on top of that, on top of that, you need saxophone for that. Yeah. So, it could be, uh, this could be crazy, it could be in Helm Lobby? It could be in Helm? <laughs> oh, if it's in, Hel <laughs> if wow. it's in Helm, that's going to be a rough... Thing for the both of them. That will be quite a surprise. It is always, it is very rarely do you ever go into Helm like absolutely certain you're in go mode, but you very often go into Helm pretty confident you're in go mode. They would be, they would know they are not in go mode going into Helm, which is exciting. <laughs> um, Monkey Port is my best guess at the moment. Hmm. 
Yeah, there's not really many monkey port checks in the game, so I guess... If it, if, it, if it is that, at least there wouldn't be too many things they would have to check. But it's tricky, though, because there's a lot of other slam checks in the game, right? This lighthouse, for example, is slam locked. Nothing in here, but it, you know, for example, could be here. Uh, it could be in... Well, we saw Lanky's tutorship. It's not there. Anything else slam in Galleon? Uh, hmm. It could be in Factory. We haven't seen... We haven't seen Factory at all. And Factory has blue switches as well. And in the worst case scenario, you may need the second slam upgrade somewhere for a couple slam checks in Aztec. That could be a... A disaster yeah. waiting to happen. The seed is a uh, the the, uh, the closing velocity on a speed is one of the hardest things to master in this randomizer. Once you've got most of your stuff and you need the last few things, being able to to, to puzzle out exactly where your last check is is a very important skill and it's exceptionally difficult. Yeah, that'd be yeah. It's it. This is the one of the good things about having Elbrook on commentary right here is that. The guy right here, not only did he make the hint system, he just knows everything about hints. Like, he, he has a vast knowledge, and so it's always good to go, what do you think about this? Where could this be? Kuiper has uh, accidentally performed a glitch in DK64, which is uh, par for the course. That is a uh, <laughs> standard, standard fare in this game. <laughs> he has he has accidentally misaligned himself with the ground, which is a uh, oof, that is a, a yeah. brutal affliction that is uh, easily remedied with the instrument plane. <laughs> it's also easily remedied. I don't think they know this, but it can all, you can also just jump out and it will fix it. <laughs> what a what a game we play. What a game we play. Oh, Kuiper's finally checking the shop. I can't believe you forgot about this. Uh, yeah, I forgot What is here? This. this is important. What is it? Rocket Bat. Oh, that's a good one. Is that's Riley going to remember? Is Riley going to remember that? Surely. I mean, did he just exit level and go back in? Turn around. Turn around. Riley! Riley, no. where are you going? No. <laughs> uh, uh, he'll, come, he'll come back to that in time, I'm sure. Once he's once he's in the, the Key 7 hunt, he'll be, he'll be on his way there. So rocket barrel for key seven. Oh, wait a minute. So rocket barrel for key seven, but you need rocket barrel for peanut, and Isles main is key seven, and Isles main has peanut. So, or no, no, it was. Uh, uh, Isles main has uh, pineapple. Uh, that's it. Pineapple, yeah. So it's that's so it's that's possible. That's pointing really strongly to pineapple being required. Pineapple for key seven for something, or pi pineapple for something. It could get you key seven. It could also be this rocket barrel check on the top of aisles. That's also main aisle yeah. combined with the, you know, the what Kuiper just did the logical thing, which is you need barrels to move the rock. You need trombone to play on the instrument pad to spawn the rocket barrel. And then you use rocket barrel to come up. It could be here. No, it's, it's, it's a banana. Not <laughs> it's not here. And we've checked the the, uh, the Aztec roof dirt, which is the same, uh, the same requirements effectively. And it's not there either. So he's now thinking pineapple. What could possibly be pineapple lock? Um, He's also thinking caves again, because caves is a uh, caves is a bit of a question mark. Now that he has Lanky, he can check the ice castle for caves main. He can also check the beetle race, which could be interesting. But he's not going. They're not going to have a rank sun sprint to complete the beetle race, though. <laughs> that is Kuiper's first information on Chunky K rule, and he is uh, visibly reacted to. Oh my goodness, there it is. <laughs> Wait, I need Hunky Chunky. Where is it? Riley now coming back for this check right here. So he hasn't forgotten. He's returned to claim his rocket barrel and ponder the question with the rest of us. Where is Key 7? Yeah. Kuiper might be thinking, okay, I need Chunky K rule. What did I get out of the hillside? He's going back to Jabe's to, to pull out the pull out everything he can in the hillside and think, okay, do I need this? Maybe I need this? What, what else might be here? He pulled the gorilla gun out of here, which answers and solves the hint. But if you full clear the region, then you like know for absolute certainty it's gorilla gone, right? Nothing else. And that's a good density as well. 
Oh, oh or there's just a movie that, that we forgot about. Excellent. This, and well, that's Simeon Spring. That's going to be the triangle right there. So that's where the horde for that right there. So they didn't need that. This wasn't hinted way of the horde, but it is logically way of the horde. So it's good to you know bring yourself back into logic. We're all square. No more no more cheating involved here. <laughs> but it doesn't answer any questions. It just is a uh, hmm. Where do you go from here? They got to think. They're they're having a hard think right now. And they're also down one hint as well. As you can see on uh, Riley's screen there, he has one of the hints, which is still question mark, question mark, question mark. That means he has not seen that hint at all. So he will need to go to the uh, wrinkly door in Aztec lobby in order to read that. But he can't because he doesn't have feather bow. So without that, he can't access that hint door. So that's one thing which is working against them is that there's still a hint down. And that hint could be the final key to, like, fi uh, figuring out this entire seed. Could be. There is one more location that is way of the Horde hinted, and that is Diddy's Crypt. But we have not seen Diddy's Crypt, or we have not seen Chimpy Charge. We don't know where, we don't know, uh, we don't know where that is. So there's a Jimpy charge is a sort of a mystery move. Like, what could this possibly be? Kuiper has finally come back to Castle Lobby. And now that he has Lanky, he can just balloon right up here, as intended, check his vial, and be sorely disappointed. <laughs> yeah, he's going to be very disappointed with this, because for... Actually, I won't spoil it for those who haven't seen the earlier part of this uh, race. Oh my goodness, we need Kuiper's audio. Oh my goodness, Sky, are you here? Are you listening? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, yeah, what's up? I, we, I got, we got free duel! Oh, Kuiper got, heck yeah. Kuiper got free duel in the Searchlight Seek. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna get that for all mini games. It's a thing of beauty. Oh, I had meant to ask you all, did you all wanna talk about the tournament, per chance? That's going to happen this weekend, I believe it'd be. Yes, uh, Kuiper talked about it a little bit at the start of the stream, but Spike Vegeta, world-renowned speedrunner extraordinaire, is hosting a Blitz tournament. A very fast, for or a very, very fast, uh, fast format in the sense that it doesn't take very much time. It, it is done in two weeks. And, uh, the qualifiers for that, uh, are on the same settings as these runners are playing now. And it will be on Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern. Uh, usually when we do our weekly or community weekly race, um, we'll have the qualifier there. And if the, I believe it's the top 16 qualify for a, a quick bracket and we, uh, go toe to toe to see who will win the blitz tournament. That's uh, it's going to be a good time. Uh, I imagine that'll be a, it'll be great stream content as well. For those of you uh, who are enjoying watching this one, there's a, there's a lot of DK 64 randomizer content out and about. There's uh, people playing this every day. It's a lot of fun. It's going to be a good time. Got mm. Riley here. Oh, I only a gold banana. So he's not going to need to do this, and nor does he really want to. This, uh, <laughs> that mini game is quite long and, uh, not really useful. <laughs> no, not for it. It's not worth a golden banana. But Riley's not checking the beetle race. Does the beetle race have something? He hopes he doesn't, because he'll need a rank sun sprint if he does. Ah, it's just a golden banana. So he's just not going to need to do this either. Ooh, what what could be that main caves required then? I, is it mini monkey required? I think you need mini monkey then, right? So it's it's probably going to be. I think at that point you have to have mini monkey. I don't yeah. think there's anything else. Riley doing his thinking waddle is. This is trolling through. Tried and true. Everyone does this. I, I'm I'm guilty of this. It, everyone does that. When you got to think, it's just oh. But Kuiper finds a potion in fungi forest. Yeah, what could this be? That could be. This is Rocket Barrel Ox. This could be on the path to Key Seven as well. Yeah. This is Hunky Chunky. Chimpy Charge. Chimpy Charge. I don't think Actually, mm. actually Chimpy Charge Ch makes a lot of sense. Chim well, Chimpy, Ch Chimpy Charge would be the one I think it should be. Well, Chimpy Charge doesn't track with uh, the pineapple hint. And we don't have anything else on Isle's main, do we? It's just pineapple. So pineapple is definitely involved here, but what could this... Yeah, what else could this be? 
And this mm. should also be peanut locks because he need uh, no he doesn't need no he doesn't need peanuts to beat this. Hmm. Wait, why does he have mini mark? Where did he get that? Oh no. Oh there's Honky Chunky. Okay. Honky Chunky. Where did he get mini? Where did he get mini? What the heck? Did he miss mark that perhaps? Um hmm. well, let's get a review of that. <laughs> We'll go to the booth, uh, go to the, the VAR and check the uh, the replay on that. Let's see uh, where that may have turned up. But uh, I think it was in Forest because he's, he's been in Forest for a little bit, so he's going to be happy to, he'll be very happy to have pulled that. So Riley, I think, taking the first dip into Factory Definitely a good level to be in to get some a lot of checks really quickly. There's quite a lot of things which don't really need too many moves in this uh, one. And there's a lot of uh, quick things you can check, like these right here will show a small cutscene. That's a purple potion. That and, could be very important. And it's slam lock. So this is very likely mini money, mini monkey or feather. This is probably not saxophone. And what's this one right here? Ah, it's just a crown. Well, if Kuiper yeah, has mini, this is this is just gonna be feather, right? Yeah. And that's also Simeon Spring locked as well. So mm. that's that could also be another if there's anything which uh, spring is hinted towards, it could be that. I didn't catch what was in that room there, so or in that Well corner. nothing. 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 Oh. oh okay. What's up here? Another potion. Ooh, Ooh factory is low. Well, not oh, loaded, but, but critically. It's... So that one is logically slam locked. Even though in classic DK sixty four fashion, that barrel is actually spawned there the entire time. You don't actually need slam, but it is because that's... you know it just makes sense. That's but also twirl lock. lock. That's twirl. that's a... very important. That is that is one of the few twirl lock checks in the game. And if it's a vial, ooh, that's gonna be that's gonna be good. Ooh, is that and... both? Oh no, Kuiper, Kuiper ran into Factory Lobby and then decided against it? How expensive was it? Oh no. It can't have been that expensive because I, I think they're pretty much similar in terms of GB count. Uh, checking the instant replay, it was 49, so <laughs> Riley has exactly enough and Kuiper does not. Oh gosh. So Kuiper in a in a, in a hurry, chooses to dump. Taking a quick break. Got a dump alert going right here. A good dump. Good clean dump. Just a very small one, just to grease the wheels. You know, tiny dump. So we've got another slot machine mini game. So, uh, I think this is perfectly fitting for the show we're on. Random number generation, playing a randomizer, playing a uh, mini game which is uh, infamously in the real world random. So, fortunately, <laughs> rig, rig, rigged in our favor here. <laughs> <laughs> Mercifully, rather. All right, Kuiper has acquired 49 and he's charging in. He thinks Factory has his answers, and we do too, because there's a lot of good stuff here, it looks like. Yeah. The slam hint is is pretty strongly pointing to production. There's a lot of slam stuff here. But there's feather. Is it feather, that's good. So that means he can also get that final hint. That's really big. And there's the saxophone. saxophone. Oh, no mini though. No mini. Hmm. Did we get confirmation on whether Kuiper got it, or did he just miss Mark Hunky? I. I believe he mismarked it. Okay. So. That is uh, the nature of the beast. Oh, Kuiper Kipe, is now spotting the uh, mm. production room, so. All right, so now the quest for, or he does have Hunky Chunky though, so I think he, oh, I think he just marked mini instead of Hunky Chunky. That is a, uh, Yeah. <laughs> All right, so mini monkey, what are our leads on that? We have a unresolved, I believe this is unresolved. Yes, this is unresolved. This is a, a caves castle or a caves castle helm lobby hint for tiny kid rule and we pulled the guitar out of there so uh, my money personally my money on on mini monkey is the back of aztec 
The back of Aztec is entirely guitar locked. You need guitar to play the music pad to open the stone door to get to the back of Aztec, and that is a ton of stuff back there. That is yeah. half a level. And quite a few also rocket barrel and peanut locked stuff as well. On the off mm. chance it is not pineapple launcher. Excellent twirls across the production arms from Kuiper. That's actually... Man, twirl. Twirl doing work. Wow. I bet Riley's thinking the same thing. He's like, I got 54 GBs. I bet I can get an Aztec. Oh, no. He's doing no, that. I, he's going to do the other side of Aztec. Uh, no, Aztec uh, factory. Yeah, the other half of factory. That almost makes sense. Oh, why are you doing this? <laughs> you have to twirl. <laughs> Kuiper, Kuiper demonstrates proficiency in ponytail twirl and then proceeds to throw it away and do a DK kick instead. He's he's feeling himself. He's just moving. All right, the quest for mini monkey is on. Riley also needs to come up with hunky chunky. He needs to go back to forest. That's going to be a tough pull to find to find Rocket Barrel there. I don't believe there's any direct hint for that. So that's a... Uh, that's going to be tricky to pull. Yeah. He knows Rocket Barrel's way the horde, but... Well, he knows Rocket Barrel's on the path to key seven, so if he doesn't find key seven, then he may... Oh, it then, could then he may be. check that. He may check that later, but Rocket Barrel tells you Pineapple, so he may have already discounted Rocket Barrel in his mind. You don't really... It's possible that that's not important to him Something. because he's solved it already. Yeah, someone mentioned this earlier in chat, and I think, like, someone said it could be Pound the X, which would make sense because the saxophone was uh, found in... Oh, there's another potion. Um, yeah, it could be Pound the X, which is required if uh, Monkey Port is required. That would take a lot, but Pound the X for... For key what, seven? though? For key, key seven? Because if... if, wow. if Hunky is required, and that would be uh, <laughs> given recent history. So there was a well, race. No, it's, it's monkey port for key eight, not key seven. Ah, uh, monkey port. Okay. So yeah, that that yeah, the diving the diving hint for key eight is resolved because diving got you monkey port. The shop hint for key eight is for spring. Yeah, the the Jape shop key eight hint is for spring, which got you. That would be triangle. The mills, the the forced mills in for key eight is resolved because that got you trombone, or no, that got you bongos. And then both castle shops hints are maybe up in the air. One is for peanut, and the other is for twirl. And twirl just got us. That was feather. Hmm. So peanut or feather maybe. Oh, grape shooter from that. What? Don't think that'll be required though. That is their. That is the last gun. We got all the guns. <laughs> huh? You say it might not be required, <laughs> but they have all the guns, and having all the guns opens up a couple pretty nasty checks in the game. Yeah. That might send. That might send Riley back to forest. <laughs> yeah, well, forest lobby at the very least. Yes. So. He's playing the piano game. Please press F. F for the F key, which does not see any use in the vanilla game, but in the randomizer, it has life. We get to see the F key. Oh, a lot of C's right here. <laughs> so this... C's, uh, C's yeah, get this. degrees, though, so... <laughs> but we get the it, F key. We get to respect the F key. Thank you very much. So in a randomizer, we randomize a sequence, and uh, it could be anything. Uh, it could be all Fs, for all we know. But... Uh, Unfortunately not. Did we see what this barrel was? I think it was instrument upgrade. Yeah. I just I realized they both did as well. <laughs> I've just realized they actually both have to go back to forest for some reason. Riley needs hunky chunky, which is unhinted, so that's gonna be a little rough. But Kyber needs to go back to forest for bongos. Oh gosh. Yeah. Two feather checks now. Oh, a rainbow coin. A rainbow coin that would have been much nicer earlier. Yeah. Trying to follow feather to possibly pull out mini monkey, but I think it's guitar. I think guitar is your answer. He's he's got to check Aztec lobby though. Like that's a whole hint he's missing. Hmm. I mean, one hint is 
so much. A pack of five hints from a fresh lobby is very nice, but one hint is... The value is a little uncertain. And plus, because of how the hint distribution is laid out, I think he'll know what kind of hint it is. So he might he might think that, oh, this hint is not actually all that helpful. Yeah, true. The kite per still doing the gorilla grab because he doesn't know he hasn't yet found out that gorilla grab is path to bongos and that was in the mill so he's doing all the gorilla grab checks he can think of so he's gonna do the battle arena here this one isn't so bad though and this is his last one before he has to go back to forest so if he doesn't pull it here then he's like all right well poof. he's gonna have to go back to the drawing board and he should eventually arrive at the conclusion that it's forest Riley hunting trombone checks. He's he's got he got trombone from the mills, and he's like, eh, maybe it's trombone, which is actually pretty smart because, well, he got trombone from the mills, but he also got bongos for the mills, and bongos solves your solves your uh, your hint there pretty nicely. Kaipa looking quite pleased with the fact that you just got great. Might he be on the thought trail that we haven't figured out yet? Perhaps a particular check of legend. <laughs> they're approaching 60 GBs, but they're not done. They need some moves. <laughs> yeah, the big the big one that they're still missing is uh, charge. Mm -hmm. We still don't know where charge is. Yeah. And key seven. Where's key seven? Yeah. Mm. And I can, we're going to need to have a word with the C generators here. Oh, yes, indeed. Hey, they didn't want an easy seed. I, they told me that much. <laughs> <laughs> they got this one. <laughs> <laughs> so right here is going to do a few quick checks here in the dungeon. So he's going to spawn the uh, pads here and he's going to uh, try and see the bonus barrel as early as he can. Or is he just going straight for it? Or is he just going to die in the acid? Let's take a peek. Well, it's junk. Goodbye. Well. He's, Banana. Yeah, Balloon he's for the road. The, yeah, he's doing the medals. Kyber's coming back to caves. He, I think he wants to clear out the uh, caves main. But he doesn't have mini, so yeah, he cannot. Yeah, so we're still looking for mini. We're still looking for charge. We're still looking for key seven. A lot of question marks here. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not always good to f have these kind of question marks when you're at 60 GBs. These are the most stressful ones, right? Because like, for example, Riley has solved bongos and Kuiper has not, but Kuiper has hunky chunky and Riley does not. So it's like. Ooh, you don't know what your, the other what your opponent has, and so it, this yeah. is where, this is where. Yeah, and this, this is where it gets like quite tough as well because they have access to most of the game, and they've got to filter out all of the nonsense and just got to optimize the amount of checks that they're doing like every minute or whatever. Like, Push comes to shove. If you're checking more stuff than the other guy, you, you're more likely to get there. Riley doing a little bit of tech here to. Uh, get this without a rowing stand sprint. DK is a very fast, a very fast individual. Then you go banana. Hmm. So Kuiper doing the kind of main cave circuit that Riley was doing earlier. But he's he he does not want to see anything here, let's be clear. If he does, it's it's just something else he has to find. But I mean if it's not here, it's it's Minnie he has to find instead. Fortunately yeah. Minnie has hints, but that's tricky. I think the, the next thing they have to find must be Minnie, right? Like it could be Q7. It could be key seven turns up, right? 
Our key seven options, we have the shop, the aisle shop, which is only one thing, we know that's Rocket Barrel. So we know Rocket Barrel is somehow on the path to key seven. And Isles Main, which the only thing we found is Pineapple. So we know Pineapple is on the path to key seven. Well, probably. Rocket Barrel and Pineapple, what? But Rocket Barrel would have led to Pineapple due to its location. So I think and you just start checking anything Pineapple, but lightly <laughs> <he's> locked. <sighs> Riley just got caught by a cop. Oh. Kicked there some gets, out. <laughs> get booted back to the start of the level. <laughs> See you later. You know what? You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking Aztec again. Aztec has great pineapple density. There's a lot of pineapple stuff in Aztec, especially yeah. like Chunky Vases is a pretty strong contender because Barrels is also on the path to pineapple. Chunky Vases is good. Chunky's Five Door Temple has three checks in it for being one room. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. But, uh, Riley is, uh, perhaps scared of the way of the Horde Gorilla Grab and is off to go check it again. <laughs> off to go check the minecart. Yeah. But he can also do the pineapple check that's here, which is another good check. I don't. Did Kyrie do this one? He might not have. I don't think he came back here because he, he already checked the minecart and didn't have Chunky. Or didn't have. Pineapple at the time. So Kuiper's Kuiper. going going to Aztec. Kuiper this could going be to Aztec. this could be quite a good move for him. Like if, this pays, he, if this pays out, yeah. If he's if he plays his cards right, this could be really helpful to pushing him ahead of Riley. Our last hint. This is the last bit of helpful information we'll get out of the seed. What so is, what is it? <laughs> here? That is vines. That is not helpful at all. Excellent. So we got a vine. <laughs> the vines hint. <laughs> we already knew that. Excellent. That is their last way of the horde. Got to pull it together, team. You got to dig down. You got to dig deep. You got to follow. Your, you got to trust in the hints. They've never led you astray. And he is running right past that pineapple door. That is uh, an uh, interesting ooh, well, decision. <laughs> I, ooh, I, I don't know if I agree with that one. <laughs> Maybe he's going for uh, Tiny Temple, the uh, pineapple checking there. Mm. Mm. Could be he th he's thinking guitar lock things because the helm lo the, the, the caves lobby guitar is interesting. Rocket Barrel things. It's like Riley's going. Oh no, is he going to Helm? He can't. Oh, he's doing the uh, doing the sex metric. That's great. That's oof. That's interesting. Oh no. Oh no, this is gonna be Wolf Rabbit Race. <laughs> is it gonna send him back to the Rabbit Race? It's not the Beetle Race. We know it's not that one. But the rabbit race is another notorious orang stand sprint check. Riley might is is he doing? Oh, is he? He's thinking. He's dancing. What's it gonna be? <laughs> he's, he's doing a thinking move. If he's only at fifty six, he can't get into Aztec at fifty seven. So he might be. <sighs> might be caught out. He might be in just a little bit of an awkward spot. And he can't get do one more the, He can't do pound the X because that's. Uh, yeah, that would... He doesn't have Hunky. But he's going to Forest, so... Yeah, hopefully he comes across that. Back of Aztec, do you deliver unto us Mini Monkey? I, I'm thinking Mini Monkey in the back of Aztec. And then... Key 7 also in the back of Aztec, I guess. Man, I put a lot on the back of Aztec on the seed. If it's not here, I'm going to be... Uh, oh, could I, it also I'm in be trouble. Be, could it also be the bean check, maybe? Because oh. that requires pineapple and feather to get to. And the only thing that's not hinted as part of that is... Oh no, oh. It's, a, it's a potion! Oh no, it's a potion! So he's... Uh, a worm, <sighs> the worm has a potion, but he doesn't have Hunky Chunky for it. Oh no. Oh, no. Could this be it? Uh, <sighs> that's that's quite a brutal check right there. Oh my goodness, it's right that's there! That's key! Whoa, get this key <laughs> We found key seven! Oh my goodness. You That's, follow your uh, you follow your pineapple checks. You turn up key seven. So Riley's got key seven. He can go in helm. He can go in helm right now. He doesn't have hunky chunky though, uh, and he knows get, he needs it. Yeah, he's gonna oh, need no. hunky chunky. 
And you know what? You know what? I'm actually terrified. I'm terrified he, because if I were him, I'm so scared. Because the crypt. He knows that the Diddy crypt is on the way of the horde for some reason, but he doesn't know he doesn't need it. So he might be looking. <sighs> it was not it was not on the bean, unfortunately. The bean levers are uh they're left waiting, but it's bean adjacent. So take solace bean levers, it's not over yet. But he's got it. He's he, he knows he needs to find Hunky no matter what. Like even mm. if that even if that apple doesn't have anything, like it could still be. Um, like he needs it for he needs it for uh, Chunky K rule. And there's Ooh. Chimpy Charge in the back of that. Chimpy Charge. Oh, is it is it Mini Monkey in the crypt then? It's got to be Mini Monkey in the crypt, right? That's the that's the last thing that makes sense. These runners, so both runners here have huge bits of knowledge in different areas. So Kuiper has both Hunky and Charge, but two things which are listed as Way of the Horde, and he will definitely need Hunky. Uh, and then Riley has got Key 7 and Bongos. So it's now pr like close to a race of like who's going to figure out where the other bits of information that the other person has. It's all solvable. I, I mean, <sighs> for my armchair, I solved it. So, you know, I feel good. But, <laughs> you know, you follow your pineapple, you follow your guitar. It's doable. It's tough. It's so tough in, in their seats. It is one of, it is extremely difficult. This randomizer is no joke, but it's all there. And it looks like Riley's about, he, Riley might be about to find his hunky chunky. <sighs> Kuiper doing what I thought was very reasonable, which is check the, all well, the pineapple checks back here. So, you know, back of Aztec plus pineapple checks. This would have been... My choice of, of play. I, I love this decision. It unfortunately isn't here, but it is indeed Pineapple, so he's on the right train of thought. And because he's going to go check Pineapple stuff, he's eventually going to go ahead to Forest Funky. And that will put him in Forest, which he might reconsider his Forest Mills hint, hopefully. Yeah. And then I'll put this, him off the races. Yeah, this is, uh, this is, this is going to be close, I think. We have entered no mode. We know where everything is. I'm almost certain that Mini Monkey is on in the crypt. Okay, so Kuiper's going to the crypt. He, we'll, we'll get that info now. He knows that this is way of the horde. No sense in putting this off. Let's get this immediately. Riley, uh, where's Riley going? Is he not checking the top of the mushroom? Ah, uh, I guess not. Ooh. That's, oh, that's... Well, maybe he wants to make it night first for some reason? Why would he want to make it night? He might be thinking... like, owl tree area, so like, okay, I should make it night now before I run off. Yeah... So he's gonna Owl. he's gonna head this way. Yeah, I hear yeah. Reason. Maybe he's thinking like Owl Race, possibly. Ah, uh, yeah, that's this gotta be it. That's actually a great check between guitar and rocket barrel. That's a good that's a good call. And this grape, which well, the grape wasn't locked by anything, but now we get to see Kaipa's now gonna do Diddy Crypt. One of the first items they got, peanut poppers, comes back to the Diddy Crypt with so charge. One of the last items we get. <laughs> So chat, I want to do like a poll here. Who do you think is going to win right now? Is it going to be Kuiper, who is on the left, or do you think it's going to be Riley, who's on the right? I want to see what people think. They're both hunting for information the other, ha the other has. This is tough. Yeah. This is, a, this is a tough call. This is definitely anyone's... Uh, oh, yeah, I, d I don't know who this is going to be. If I, if I had to call it, uh, I would say Riley. I'd say Riley. That oh, is not, that is not Mini Monkey. That's, what are, oh gosh. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why uh -oh. the whole bit, but, oh no, what's that going to be? Is he a this... race maybe? <laughs> that's, that's a uh, rough one right there if it's that. I, I, any... I need blast check. Any blast check. Oh, is Riley dumping for what is he dumping for? Riley dumping for the people? Oh, he's, maybe he's dumping for helm. Yeah, he can do helm. So he, he's doing helm right now. You know, I'm seeing a lot. Like I'm seeing chat is like pretty split right here. Like we got a lot of Kuiper. We got a lot of Riley. Like I think blast. Blast might turn this into a casino. It's just, do you run to the right blast spot in time? Because that's going to be the last thing. Oh, actually. Oh, he left Forest without Hunky Chunky. Oh, no. <sighs> that's rough. But, yeah, he's, he's missing Blast. That's 
That's quite but a critical piece. He'll situation. have Helm done by the time Kuiper gets... Oh, and Kuiper just guesses immediately. It's the cave's one. Oh, yo, he ran Cave's main, yes. That this was is the only, cave's main. This is the, the only cave's main thing. Perfect. It all lines up. So this has to be... This has to be Mini. He's already marked it. He's so supremely confident that this is Mini Monkey, <laughs> and it won't be anything else. <laughs> And he's got, yeah, he's going straight for it. He's not even going to get the medal. But he's at P7. Where's Key 7 man? Where is it? Where could it be? And that's quite an, like, I feel like the apple area is quite an orphaned check. Uh, so. Shops are, shops are pretty good density. But I mean, if, yeah. Oh, Riley finds, oh boy. Riley just found Super Duper in Helm Lobby, which oh, might no. throw him off. Oh, gosh. That might... No, wait, that, that might send him to Aztec, actually. What? It was O-Stand? Whoa! What? <laughs> what? Uh, huh? It's an Orang Stand check somewhere? Oh, my God. Uh... 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 uh, uh, uh what the heck? Um, uh, 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 no, it can't be. No, it's not going to be. It, <sighs> it could be the top of the mushroom. It could be the two rooms at the top of the mushroom. It could be the Japes painting room or the Japes lanky barrel, but he might have checked the lanky barrel. No, I think somebody uh, checked the, I, I think somebody checked the painting room. It's, uh, oh, it's Kuiper, dis be... Kuiper discovering he did not tag his banana port. <laughs> tag your orbs, kids. Ah, <laughs> oh, gosh. But this is for... Oh, but he's in Forest. Surely he goes to Forest Funky. There's no way he's thinking about Forest Funky. Forest Funky is the last thing on his mind right now. He's all in on this mini monkey hunt. And just... I guess he's hoping he finds Key 7 along the way. This is crazy. What the heck? This is an insane wild goose chase at the end of the sea. Yeah. This might... If it's up here, this plays in Riley's favor because Riley's gonna look at the barrel up top and see the vial there and be like, okay, I have to do this. And then this could this could play in Riley's favor if it's here. Yeah. Well done. Oh my goodness. We have a plot twist at the 11th hour. DK64randomizer.com delivers once again. Yeah. <laughs> An absolute barn burner of a finish. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Oh my god. So he's, so he's gonna Kuiper, do this check. Like, Kuiper uh, doesn't have bongos either, but he can go you can go into Helm to get a hint on the instrument pad. So yeah. The, so Riley is playing the triangle on the instrument pad. If he did not have triangle, that instrument pad would tell him what Kong and what level your triangle is in. So if Kuiper's feeling desperate, he can go get the bongos hint in Helm. But DK's the last room in Helm. Oh, it's a potion! Yes, this could uh, be this this has to be mini. This right? has this to be mini. This has to be mini. <laughs> Like what else? Like the, the the only thing it could be is like Strong Kong, but like, what's Strong Kong gonna be on the path to? <laughs> oh, oh, oh boy! Don't don't tempt fate like that. Don't tempt fate like that. This has to be Mini. It has to be. Right. Right. And this is this is gonna play in like if Riley gets this, then he doesn't need to do this a rank stand on either. Because right, if he but... if he if he goes up to the rocket barrel at the top, then he doesn't need a rank stand to get there. So, Welcome right, to but you know it's you know it's logically a rank stand lock, so you have to come and check this. Right, this has got two checks. This is like some of your best density. Kuiper marking mini monkey again, and this time he is correct. But <sighs> he's still missing key seven and bongos. They're both in forest. He hasn't paused exit to the level. Where's he going? He's, he's, he's got to check the mills, right? He's checking Owl Tree first, it looks like. He hasn't found anything for grab. I don't know if that's at the top of his mind. That might all that might be the second to last thing on his mind. So I think <laughs> th this this has like swung pretty nicely in Kuiper's favor. The one yes. thing Riley has going for him is if he 
uh, searches the rocket barrel at the top of the giant mushroom. He can right. skip the charge, the orang stand, and the baboon blast chain right, uh, that Kuiper had to do. They're both that technically missing two things. Riley is currently doing something he needs to do anyway. You, you're going to have to beat Helm regardless. And he knows he can do it right now. So it's like, okay, let's just do it while I think or something. He might be like trying to like go over his hints right now. Just like thinking, oh my gosh, what's trying to scour his notes for what, where it could possibly be. Do I, guitar, a rocket barrel, a, a pineapple, who knows? Well, it's not pineapple, he's, he's got that solved. They're both missing two things. It's fortunate though that Riley's second thing is next to, is on the path to his first thing. Or is in the way of the first thing. Kuipers are a little more disconnected, but he's in forest. There's a chance. Kuiper now has the unfortunate thing of where he's missing key seven and he's just got mini monkey. And mini monkey opens so many things. So he's got to hope, like we got to hope if he wants to win this, that he doesn't spend forever like going through mini monkey checks trying to find key seven. It's dangerous, right? You get a number of hints for each key proportional to how long the path to the key is. So the more locked a thing is, the more hints you'll get for it. There are five hints for key eight because you need a ton of things for key eight. There are two hints for key seven. So I'd be a little afraid of going down anything mini because it's just so far. It's such a long path for this. This is, I, I'd be very scared of this. The double gold banana, he's not gonna need either of those. Kuiper, he's not exiting the level yet, okay. Riley has already beaten Helm, so he's gonna get key eight here, which is good. That's at least progression. That's something Force funky. That, oh, here we go. He's gonna find it. All right, so Kyber is on his way to get key seven, but what's he gonna do about bongos? Is he gonna go into Helm, clear two whole rooms of Helm for the bongos hint? Uh, he's got to though, right? Like this yeah. is this that that's the that's got to be his play unless he's already thinking of the mills. All right, Riley's out of Helm. Where are you going? He's but going he's straight to Aztec. He's gonna see this potion. Like that's gonna be strong Kong. Like he, uh. no, but he's gonna see this key and be like, oh my god. <laughs> Okay, that's not quite an oh my god reaction. That is a dying inside reaction, but you know, we've all been there. We've all been there. And he's going to be like, I can't believe I didn't check this. Oh my god, he's, I just lost this race by an hour, but it's crazy close. Oh my gosh. Kyber's probably going to check this and then I think he's going to dive helm. I think. I, you have to take the sure thing, right? It's the sure thing. You know you're going to get a hint. It's going to tell you right in the right spot. You don't have to guess at all. It's just like, all right, I know exactly where I'm going. But this is a potion here. What could this be? Is this like, is this Strong Kong? Do we get a full clear? This has got to be Strong Kong because Bongos is in Mills. Did he get spring from? Did he get spring from the Jape Shop? Did he just forget the Jape Shops existed? I mean, that's all well and good, but oh no, I think it's junk. It's oh, homie Namo. Oh, that's not love junk. To see it. You that's love not junk. To see it. I am a I am a big proponent of homie Namo. Not junk. Love to see homie Namo. The homie Namo in this game has personality. I and I love it for it. Oh man, what was he? he's writing something? He's down. in the notes. He's deep in the notes. He's he's lost in the sauce. He's got to figure oh, out man. where in the heck do you go? He's gonna. What could possibly? Oh, he's oh. showing something. <laughs> it's not over, man. It's not over. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my I, gosh. I think that was a reaction to the homie Nemo, not the key. Yeah, well. No, it, me, yeah, it, def it, def Nemo. it definitely be the homie Nemo. <laughs> right, Riley's clearing out Aztec. He'll be happy to see the move he needs in the shop, but it's a little bit late. And he's going to be doing Tiny Temple, which he doesn't need to do. But he doesn't know that, obviously. He's not here. He's going home. He has decided. He has decided. I'm taking the sure thing. I don't need no stinking hints. I'm going to helm. So he is going to have to clear two rooms of helm. Your progress in helm does not save. He's going to have to beat these helm rooms twice. But... 
as his reward, he will be guaranteed. He is guaranteed the uh, the knowledge of where the bongos are. Yeah, and it's gonna say, "Oh, there's a potion." So is, is he, he gonna about, think that's the that's the red slam? He's like, "I have to check this, right?" Like, what if bongos are in hell? I don't think he's thinking that it can't be here. He's just like, "I, I just have to know." D to could it be here? <laughs> is, is it here? He has to know. <laughs> it's too much. All right, Riley's on his way to the back. This is a, uh, this is, this, I have absolutely no idea who's taking this one. <laughs> oh no, he's gone super. Is he thinking that like bongos might be hidden behind like something in Aztec perhaps? He might be thinking that and it's just like, this is ridiculous. There's no way they make us do this. There's no way they subject us to this seed. DK64randomizer.com can be a cruel mistress. DK64randomizer.com. <laughs> it sometimes it sometimes gets you, but he's going for the two helm rooms, so he's got work to do. He's got to go quick. Yeah, the the, the difference is it, the race is basically can Riley find Hunky Chunky and Mini Monkey before Kuiper does the two rooms of Helm and finds Bomb Ghost. And, and, does, Helm, does, and does Helm again. Riley's yeah. done with Helm. Riley has key eight. He's good to go. He can fight K. Rule the second he finds Mini Monkey and Hunky Chunky. So Riley basically has... He doesn't notice, of course, because he doesn't know how Kuiper's doing. But I think Riley has... Gosh, it's got to be like 10, 15 minutes to find those two moves. Yeah, he's on a clock. And he has to piece together the whole path to, to Mini Monkey. That is a that is a tough one. Yeah. But if he checks the shop here, he gets the first piece of the puzzle, Charge, which will send him probably directly to his hinted location. Yeah, because he knows that that's, that's where the Horde. Oh, well, he's taking a quick detour into the Llama Temple. That's uh, uh, not going to turn up anything, but... I mean, I would disagree. With, I, I think that the move would be to check the shop, obviously, because that's such a quick check, but hindsight's a wonderful thing. It's tricky. Oop, wrong instrument on that pad. Oh, is this... Piper exploring the depths of the swimming controls. In a top-down camera. <laughs> it's, the, it's the little things we, we enjoy about DK64Randomizer.com. Roddy also going to check for medals in here. Makes sense. If you're thinking the back of Aztec, then a lot of medals require the back of Aztec, so it's just good, good density. Keep things squared away. If he finds anything in here, though, he, he's probably going to be a little disappointed by that. He sees red slam. So that's Puts gonna red alert. He, does the funky shop show when you do? No, it doesn't. Oh, it's not, maybe it's not. Ah, oh, no. The, the shop doesn't pop up because he's not close enough to the shop. <laughs> oh no, it's not. Yeah, it's not quite enough of a hint. Fortunately, I think nothing in here is is terribly slow because he doesn't have mini monkey, so he can't check the back of the llama temple. All he can do is just take a peek at the. Yeah, take he's a gonna peek take at the banana up here. And get out of here. Yeah, there's nothing else he can do. I don't know what he... Oh, he's doing the um, balloon. This is so close to call. I have no idea. We're just going to have to hold in suspense until things become more clear. It's going to depend on how fast Kuiper pulls bongos and how fast he gets through the helm the second time. Really, I think a lot of this is down to Riley. How fast does he piece together his hints? Does he does he realize, oh my god, Cave's main, I have to go back there with Blast? Or yeah. does he like, oh my god, I have to go to the, the crypt because I finally got charged? And then I think the O-stand, do you think, oh my god, I have to go to the top of the mushroom? And you find two things there and you're like, gold. Yeah, the, th the, th the thing he's got to piece together is the... Um, the top of the mushroom. I think that's going to be the biggest thing. He sees the potion. Well 
and you can buy it. Take his charge. charge. Oh, oh. <laughs> he, he, he's disgusted right there. Oh, champion <laughs> charge. Oh, I think he's about to be even more disgusted in a moment. <laughs> oh, <my gosh. laughs> this is this is far from over. He's gonna check in here real quick because he opened this up. Yeah, may as well. But like, it, he it would have be Strong Kong. We have no idea where Strong Kong is. So. It would be foolish. No, Strong Kong was the apple. It's, it would be foolish oh, for him oh, not to go straight to no, that was, the castle. <laughs> that was that was homing ammo on the. Oh, world. that was oh, that was homing ammo. Yeah. You would be better off looking in Fungi Forest with Chunky for this. He's thinking. He's thinking hard. Think, 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 think. What's the time is ticking. Oh, there, there's the realization. Because <laughs> he's already done Chunky Mine, or he already checked Chunky Minecart. So he knows it's not going to be that. He checked Face Puzzle, I think. He checked so the worm. It has to be kegs. There's yeah, no it, has, it, could be. it has to be kegs, because I think he I think he also got the Kasplat. Uh, the Kasplat would tell if, if it were on a Kasplat, it would tell you that it's held by a Kasplat. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's not that. And then metal, he's probably already got. Maybe hard to say. Uh, I guess not. Is... If he go, if he prioritizes the metal, it's probably not great. But I think he's going for kegs he... first. Yeah, oh, this, this is gonna be so close. Oh. I think it, I think the biggest. There's two big question marks. One is where do you go with blast, and where do you go with those stand? I think this race is in Riley's hands. His decision, the decisions he makes here, decides the seed. I think he's probably got... If he gets this perfectly first try, he I think he's going to win it by like a mm -hmm. minute. I think every single check that he does that we know obviously isn't right, but he does the full check and stuff like that. Like Blast checks are not fast. Like Blast checks are pretty slow. Checking yeah. those is pretty bad. Oh, he's marking blast. He knows it's blast here. Whoa. Does he know it's in caves? Yo, he left uh, the level, so he's skipping the castle tree. He's going caves? caves? Yeah, he's going straight to caves. Man, these guys are good. He knows these, guys are, these guys are good. I don't know if I would have remembered. I, I kind of forgot being caves. I'm not going to lie. That that kind of came back. That's wild. But, but Riley's so good. Like, the strength that Riley has right now is the hints. Right, he's got hints like, that lead him into the right spot. I mean, Kuiper did too, but it's a uh, it's tough to pull that back. It's tough to pull yeah. that info back when it's a way of the horde hint. Not even well, I guess it's a path hint too. A combo. So there's bongos. So there's and bongos. Now, that sends Kuiper now... right back to Helm. <laughs> so Kuiper has what is it? Helm's like five minutes to do. Would you say five six minutes? Yeah, give or take. Yeah. So in terms of that timer I was talking about earlier. Now it's at six minutes. Riley has to find those final two moves within six minutes. Otherwise, unless Kuiper totally whiffs K rule, then like Kuiper's won the race. It's crunch time. Are your blast are your baboon blast skills up to snuff? This is a. Uh... Beautifully done. I swear these blast courses are. They are. <laughs> oh gosh, course, I'm, man. I, I don't know about you. I'm feeling like so nervous about this right now. I, like I want Riley to find it because oh, it's going to be such a close race if Riley. This finds is the it. moment of truth. He's going to mark Mini here. He's like, this is Mini for sure, right? Yep. He's yeah, he's marking. Like, yep, it, 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 it's got to be Mini. mini. <laughs> and at 11:59, we get another plot twist. <laughs> 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 the face! <laughs> Short circuit. Pause. What? What do? He's checking. He's checking his tracker. Where? Huh? 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 Uh, he's he's like, very. If he goes to the right spot, he's very fortunate. It sends him to both of what he needs. So where's he checking? He's, he's going to forest. He's, he's going, going to forest. To he's, he's going to forest. Come on, Riley. <laughs> So he knows Ostan is important, but he doesn't know he needs the top of the mushroom barrel. It's right in front of him. Does he pull it? This is the critical moment. If he pulls this, I think he wins. <sighs> or at least I think it puts him back in the lead. It puts him in the lead by like maybe a minute. Oh, this is so tight. Oh, this is going to be so close. Because they're both minigames too. 
So it's like two minigames here versus two Kuiper Hell minigames? Yeah, uh... Check the top, check the top. I beg you. Check the I top, you. please. Please, no. He's, he's locating doors, he's locating doors. Oh, he sees it? He sees it. He's like, I have to do this, right? Like, how do you not do this? You don't have Hunky Chunky, it's unhinted. He's gotta do it. He's gotta do it. No, he's not doing it! No, what are you doing? Oh my god. No, what are you doing? <laughs> oh no. He's going for the sure thing with the O-stand checks. He's like, it can't be here, but it has to be. He doesn't have Hunky no. Chunky. Oh my god. No, oh. Riley, why? <laughs> that is... Oh, uh, that, that, that's it. Like, unless Riley goes back to check that. Does he, does he not realize that I don't have it? I, you have to check any vial you see, right? Like... Any vial at this point is like pretty good odds. It's exactly like, what you the, need, right? The only thing, like he, the only two things it could be that, uh, well, obviously, like the the remaining white potions. But the only other things would be Strong Kong and Sprint. And I Strong think, Kong, yeah, sure. But like, why? Why I, did he? The only thing I can think of is that he he was like, what if Hunky Chunky is in the Zinger room, like exactly in the Zinger room? That had that blueprint, but like I don't, I don't think that's good enough reason to not do a vile bonus barrel. That's, oh no! Uh, like if I saw he a vile, to... uh, he's got to do it again. Like I, I hope he does it again. If he does it again, then uh, that 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 would put them at level like level to level because he's got to go down. He's got to go into that rocket barrel again. Oh, but Kuiper has to navigate a stealthy snoop carefully. Ninety second stealthy snoop, not an easy one. You know, I said Riley was so good at hints that, like... <laughs> oh, to, to, be, to be fair. <laughs> but I think, I think it's a pretty big hint to see a vile bonus barrel <laughs> and say, you might need to do this, Riley. <laughs> well, Hon Honky Chunky is unhinted. You never know. No! Oh, no, he's... No! What a disaster. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Does he not uh, realize he doesn't have Hunky Chunky? No, he doesn't, uh, he doesn't have Mini Monk. Uh, yeah, he doesn't have Hunky Chunky. Oh, yeah. no. If he had done that bonus barrel, oh. he'd have Hunky Chunky and he'd be cruising. But but no no it might no this might he might have a chance to win though still because if Riley gets to Chunky phase realizes he can't do it he might then go straight back to that bonus barrel which he saw which was a vial. Right, that's the first place you check. Right, any vial is like top priority, even yeah, if it's a crappy mini game. And the good thing with Rando. To, that we've changed. The, the other good thing with DK64Randomizer.com that we've changed is that cable progress saves. So that means that once he gets to chunky phase, he doesn't have to do all the uh, earlier phases in order to get back there again. He, it, like Once he re-enters K rule, it will start him in chunky phase. So... <sighs> this, I don't think it's the, enough though. Kuiper has one more bonus barrel and he's done. This is the yeah. last room. It's gonna be so tight. If 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 that if that's the path that's taken, like with Riley realizing, oh, I've got to do the top of that mushroom, like. Ah, <sighs> this is ah. Uh, I don't know. I I, I, I don't know. I'm gonna to want to have a big word with Riley after this. <laughs> Kuiper missing a cutscene skip in the heat of the moment. It's tense. Things are tense. And the great thing is that like no, neither knows how well the other two is like, the other one is doing. But when you're in Helm, it's the end of the race. Somebody's got to finish. Somebody's got to be done soon. Who's it gonna be? Yeah. You don't know. Like we're gonna like this is gonna finish within like ten minutes. The question is, is it going to be Kuiper who has everything but just has to do K rule, or is it going to be Riley who has a little less of K rule to do but still has to find Hunky Chunky? He's got to go. He has to go back. He knows where it is. He's seen the location of a vial. He doesn't know it's that, but he knows that uh, it's got to it, be right there. It's got to be. 
Which one is chunky face? Is it two or I three? I didn't see. I don't think either of them looked. They know. They know what phases they have. They don't care about the order. Oh my goodness. Oh gosh, tiny phases two and a half minutes. So did he like forget it's chunky K. Roll? It's lanky phase next. It's chunky last. We get a chunky oh, no. punch for the finish. What so, an absolute heartbreaker. <laughs> oh gosh, this is gonna be so close. Like if oh. I hope, like I hope Riley knows where to go because I I want that this to be a close race. And I there's want only one option. Spending. There's only one option. It's got to be exactly there. Ah, oh, oh, no. he misses the peel. <laughs> K. Roll takes the wrong loop. Oh, he's dastardly. Time's he's ticking. Oh, Kuiper deciding to grace us with oranges on toes anyway. You can throw oranges at K. Roll's toes, and it hurts just as much as a feather, just like in real life. of a photo finish are we talking here, y'all? I don't know this randomizer as well as I know others, but I want to know, like, how close is this? So... Sorry. Go ahead, Valentine. You probably have a better idea on the timing. I was just about to guess. <laughs> so, Tiny Phase, which is what Kuiper's doing right now, is two and a half minutes. Uh, Riley basically has that lead over Kuiper, but Riley is missing a move, which was that bonus barrel which he decided to exit, foolishly. Um, so... He's going to get to Chunky Face. He can't complete it because he's missing the move, whether he knows it or not. Um, he's got to get back to that bonus barrel, complete it, and get back to K. Rule within that two and a half minutes. If he can do that, then Riley wins. If he can't, then Kuiper wins. Kuiper don't got to worry about nothing. He's got all the stuff he needs. Riley is... Short Hunky Chunky, uh, Riley looking down like, oh crap, I think he realized he just have Hunky Chunky. He yeah, pauses he was, out of it. Oh, oh come no. on, Riley, you've got it, like... You know where it is, you've, go run right there, you, right there, right there. Come on, come two. on. Two, yes, come on. <laughs> He's going right back to it, oh my goodness, this is crazy. Come on, Riley! <laughs> oh, that reaction from Riley. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Come on. Can we get some uh, prices right losing horns in here for that reaction? <laughs> Poor Riley. Oh my gosh. <sighs> so it's a lanky phase versus this bonus barrel because it's very fast to get back to K. Rule. Uh, how many? Uh, do you remember how many seconds it was for this bonus barrel? It was a, it was a sizable Mad Maze Mall, I think. Ah, oh, this is going to be so close. Welcome to bonus stage. And Chunky Phase, like, is not one which is massively messed up. Oh, it's only 60 seconds. Oh. Oh, it's a fast one. Okay. Oh. Oh, did Riley oh. pull this one back? This this could still be a Riley win. Saved by the bell? This is uh, Is this a backflips difference? Is is this a is this a, a an uppercuts difference on chunky phase? This is so close! Oh, the, 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 he's literally got to get the move Slip and get back to K. Rule before, like, Kuiper does this last bit of lanky phase. Come on! This is going to be so close! <laughs> Riley's, Riley's just in shambles. He's like, I can't believe I just left that behind. But he's getting a, he's getting a chunky phase first. Barely! No way! This is going to be like a 10 oh. second gap. <laughs> If Riley messes this up at all, Kuiper wins. An uppercut could change the race. Oh my goodness. If K. Rool doesn't cooperate, if K. Rool gets in the way of him getting to switches or punches, that can decide things. All right, one down for Riley. Oh my god, it actually is. This, one, this, this one is so away. close. <laughs> this is like half a punch away. Oh, 
This is madness right here. <laughs> Two down for Riley. He's got one to go. Does he backflip for the people? Does he backflip for the people and then mess it up? <laughs> Backflipping in the space is very weird. You can it changes your facing angle and you can only change your facing angle in first person. He does not backflip. It does he's, not backflip. He's locked in. He's so locked in. <laughs> and GG there it is. Riley. GG Riley. You made some stupid calls, but you won it. <laughs> he takes it in the end. Oh my goodness. What a race. Oh my gosh. Whoa, oh my goodness. And here comes Kuiper. Kuiper backflips for the people. You can only change your camera angle in first person for some unknown reason. Cave game. GG. GG. Is that what, 10, 20 seconds difference? Oh my goodness. Do we get have a time on that? <laughs> what the heck? Wow. Riley, I'm seeing 21521, by the way. Versus 215.41. 20 second difference. 20 that seconds. Is... Wait, what? Yo, are you serious? 20 seconds difference. Crazy. And... Oh, my. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you serious? Wait, so... So, wait, so... You... F obviously, you, you finished 20 seconds before me? Riley, I think you might need to uh, unmute. No, I'm not muted. Oh, you're good. Okay, never mind. Sorry. I, 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 can, I can hear him. Wait, so yeah, I, I, can, I got my timer says 21544. But I paused. Uh, I didn't pause I, mine, so. Right, right, he got a 21521. 21, and I got a. <laughs> oh my. So 23, 23 seconds. Oh my. It was, it was a backflip away. It was an uppercut away. Oh. <laughs> Swinging. Oh my god. And I messed up so many cutscene skips in Helm, dude. Dude, Kyper, no, right, right, so many right, made the skips. biggest mistake ever. You don't yeah. understand, Kyper. My villain was hunky chunky. Oh, you never went to the top of the. To no, the top no, of no. The I went to the top. I got in the barrel. I was like, no, my orange sand game is not for that. Look at, get out of there! <laughs> I oh, left the barrel. No. Got mini monkey. I was like, oh cool. I didn't. I thought I saw a DK at my third com. I leave. I go <laughs> back to tier rule. I I see chunky. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> oh no, dude. All right. Uh, so first thing that I'm gonna say <laughs> is I felt like the biggest idiot in the world when I saw that key in the forest shop. Okay. I, I was like, I'm going to go over here and plant the bean. I'm going to go yeah. over here and like carry the apple. And then I walk up to the shop and I just like saw the key and I'm like, uh, I'm like, it was just yeah. here. It I'm was like, just here I have time. a rock and barrel path the key seven. I don't know what it leads me to. I completely forget you need it for, to get to Diddy's cage and and, and Fucking aisles. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. It's that's dude. The main aisles, obviously. So I know the rock and, and Blom. You were you guys were talking through the whole thing. I'm sure, but like, <laughs> I don't know if you guys could tell that main aisles hint had me yeah. so stumped. I was like, there was I don't know. I don't know what I got. I don't know what I got there. I was like, I don't. Or, yeah, you I, got one thing, and it was exactly pineapple. So we were yeah, there, yeah. like, you have to just follow pineapple to key seven, I guess. Like, but then, you, like yeah. I said, I think you have uh, the the aisle shop that is path to key seven as well, and you're like, okay, rocket barrel, uh, that could lead to a lot of things. What is pineapple and rocket lock? Like it? What? I, I went. <laughs> yeah, I went down we, this we whole literally... thing. I went down this whole thing. We're like, okay, uh, pineapple somehow. Maybe this is like guitar bass or something like that so i ended up going mm -hmm. to like because obviously like punch is hinted to you as well on he ate path but that only gets you guitar so i was like i ended up so going into like aztec to chase pineapple stuff no i was just in the shop the whole time well the the the, the critical hint was uh caves castle helm lobby for tiny k rule for guitar um, there's also yeah, there's yeah. also the slam in Helm Lobby, which you both found, but it was for guitar to get into the back of Aztec to go buy Charge, which led you down that all goose chase for Mini Monkey. <laughs> Can I tell yeah. you, for so long, I was like, I'm not, I don't give a, I don't really care about this 
Tiny. So for anybody, that, I don't know Riley if you did it or not, but like I, I beat K Rule, uh, Tiny's phase in K Rule with oranges. No, Just I have feather. Yeah, well, I do too, but I wanted to like, sh one, I wanted to show that you could do that to anybody that didn't okay. know. And two, I was intending on doing that. I was like, I don't care where Featherbow is. I don't care. I'm just going to use oranges because I have oranges. So I didn't even like really play towards the path to Tiny Hints until I realized I'm like, I don't have Mini Monkey. <laughs> like one <laughs> of these things is pointing me towards Mini Monkey. Yeah. And then you end that up just stumbling into Featherbow and, you know. And then you like, okay. You have the, what is it? Yeah, it's uh, Cave Helm Lobby, which is, okay, you get the guitar early, whatever. Like, you don't think too much of it. And then you get Slam and Helm Lobby, you're like, uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, that's what that's what pushed you into Aztec, right? We were thinking that. Yeah, yeah, for me, for sure, yeah. yeah. I mean, guitar was going to be my next play for that, for sure. But, like, mm -hmm. that Slam was like, oh, my God. It's Slam <laughs> Tulock, maybe? I mean, I a, realized a it was... I realized it was locked by Slam 1, so that's why the Tiny Path made sense. So. Oh, was it? Oh. Yes, yeah, you need Feather for Key 7, so... Oh. Yeah. Yeah, you need Feather for Key 7, so... And that's technically Ponytail Twirl locked, so... Wait, Feather? No, because Feather was the Kasplat in R&D. No, no, that, no was, that, that was great. That was Grape. That was Grape Shooter. I'm um, reading mine the, Oops, incorrectly. No, Thank Feather you. is on the, <laughs> uh, the production room tiny uh, oh, yeah, bonus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kicked oh, over to that. I had Ponytail Twirl, but I just like, Rook, Sky, you were going to say something. Talking, you... <laughs> yeah. No, I was just saying, like, is this kind of finish the kind of finish that folks can expect to see in the upcoming tournament? I mean, oh, yes. Like, yes. The first Literally, weekly yes. that was last Friday was what? The like of this. Well, me, you, and another person, we were, like, not even a minute apart. Like, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So the, the release race, when 2.0 first came out, I beat yep. Riley by 20 seconds. Uh, yes. <laughs> and then it, it, like, the exact inverse of what happened today. And then yeah. we did a, a big weekly race, and Connor, who is the one of the best DK64 players in the world, uh, was in that race. Uh, Connor finished, and then 30 seconds later, Riley finished, and then 30 seconds later, I finished. Wow. So, that is... <laughs> it's actually very common, especially between Riley and I, for yeah, this for some reason. to happen. Yeah. I think this fall... Hey, Chad, how many people would like to see a rematch between these two <laughs> this fall? I think we need a, we need a rematch here uh. at some point this year. Man, Sparks will saying, fly. I want to rematch. Yeah. I want. I want. To, I want to see the chair. Yeah, Man, I, I, I want to see that. I, I don't know exactly how much time it saves, but if I hit that last cutscene skip in Helm, I legitimately uh, think we're tied. I missed all of them as well. So, I, oh, okay, yeah. So if I hit that last one. It saves like sixteen seconds. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. If I hit that, then. I was like, oh, just please let me hit the last one because it's the biggest time save. Um, but yeah, that was <laughs> one thing I just want to say. I tried for, I don't even know how long I tried. I tried like three or four times to do the ponytail twirl trick from in the castle lobby where you jump to yeah. the top. Yeah, I, I did I did it. Couldn't do it. I couldn't figure it out. So I was did like, you know what? I'm going to go do something else. I'm going to go pick the boulder up. Oh my god, where yeah. Snide is and backflip up to that barrel uh, up near Snide. D uh -huh. Dude, every time I backflipped, the barrel was at the top of its oscillation. Oh, yeah. Like, I, I couldn't time it right. I was getting I so did it as well, yeah. I was getting so mad. I'm like, this is, it's a 50 50 chance whether or not I'm going to hit it. Dude, I'm failing. even happier. I got to showcase the Caves Lobby Boulder Tech. <laughs> where you grab the boulder in Caves Lobby, you bring it all the way up, and then you ponytail twirl with Tiny to get the guitar ch the, the guitar check there and the hint. Ugh. Yo, awesome. Okay, so really quickly, that. we do have another show on after this. Yes. Do we have any yes. more last-minute shout-outs from uh, anyone here? And please be sure to follow everyone involved. The runners and the comms right here are all their Twitch addresses. For folks watching on YouTube, that's fish.tv slash kuiperdonepair. Twitch.tv slash Riley, like the name 2W69T. Don't ask me about that. It's a story. Uh, Twitch.tv slash the Balam96. That's T A G B A L L A A M96. And then 
Laroth. Uh, that's twitch.tv slash L-R-A-U-Q. Okay, any last minute questions before or er, shout outs? before our next show yeah mine mine are just gonna be real quick shout out to everybody else on the dev team that Dude, is that, not yeah. here uh tudos kilkley uh seagull who helped vet this seed um everybody on the gdq not gdq the uh discord for yeah. setup mm-hmm. and all of the people that help get this thing working um everybody's very very helpful please you do not have the excuse if you are sitting there watching this and you say i've never played this game before I can't do this randomizer. Neither have I. I never played this game as a kid. You don't have that excuse either. This randomizer is awesome. There. We will be more than yeah. happy to help you out. Um, and shout out to LaRock, who I wrote a very mean message to on that piece of paper. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I oh, that I read it all right, bud. I read it yeah. all right. Uh, when I found the homing ammo, I was really upset. Um, but, you know, Balam is great. LaRock is great. Riley's great. Um, everybody here is awesome. And that's it for me. Yeah, I mean... For me, it's basically the whole same thing as Kuiper. The whole dev team, so good. Balam, Elrock, everybody, like they, they, they've they done so much work for this rando to be as good as it is. People might say, yeah, the, this vanilla game is not as good. The rando is a completely different experience that is like so good. And like, I will say shout out to the whole community as well, because the community has done so much. It's getting bigger. We're getting nice big races. And uh, yeah, like those, uh, map tracker there's a lot of like handy trackers to get you into the game to get you um to for ease of access so everybody like yeah. dk64 randomizer.com is a fantastic randomizer and i think Wait, everybody you, should give it a try did you just say dk64 randomizer.com dot com i did say dk64 okay. randomizer.com did, did you guys at any point bring up dk64 randomizer.com you know what i I'm not sure we brought up dk64randomizer.com. Okay, well, no, that's what, we're, we're bringing it up right now. So dk64randomizer.com, <laughs> since no one no one else brought it up. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Had to bring that and up. The, so On top okay. of that, there's also discord.dk64randomizer.com for a oh. community of like-minded yes. dk64randomizer.com enthusiasts. Yeah. yeah. And the last thing I'd like to say also is thank you for GDQ for hosting us. This has been a blast watching this race and commentating it and um yeah thank you for gdq for hosting us and uh hopefully you'll see us many more times in the future sure absolutely and again thank you to everyone thank you to everyone involved including every streamer richard as chad said thank you very much to richard as well so this is not the end of our gdq broadcast tonight be sure to stay tuned after the break we are joined by our new partner show we have swapped times on a little bit we have Time Capsule. For folks wondering about Aimbot, that is moving to every other Wednesday, starting next week at 7 p.m. Eastern. But we are so looking forward to Time Capsule. Very excited. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here. I'm Skybills for GDQ Hotfix, and Tippy, take it away.